Look at that. I'm like two minutes early. People are gonna get caught off guard like crazy here. But anyway, hello everyone. How are you all doing? Welcome back to Monster Train. I really wanted to play some more of this. I really like this game. I've been watching other, well, one other person play it a decent bit. And, um, yeah, it makes me want to play some more. So here we are, playing some more. Um, so I'll jump into a new run in a minute. Um, but let's just wait a second for everyone to be there. Because Haley Ransley is still typing times in the chat as if the stream hasn't started yet. Okay, she says done now. Pretty good, Mr. Echo. I thought you said the echo wasn't too bad, Toby. Hey, Rufless. Are we going to do any more? Hey, I'm walking here. Jokes today, Rufless? Are you going to come up with some, some new ones, even though it's a completely irrelevant game? Man, I, uh, I, I really enjoyed... Oh, I should turn the webcam on as well. I really enjoyed uh, Saturday. I really want to do more often games like that. I had it open on Discord, too. Wait, what? <laughs> That's why there's echo. Because you were watching it two different versions. I mean, that's smart, Toby. That's really smart. Anyway, so let's play uh, this game. Uh, I don't know what run we're going to go with. Uh, let's just start a new one and have a look. Um, or which factions, I should say, specifically. Hey, I'm playing card games over here. Right, so last time we went with the Stygian Guard and Awoken, which we got to the final boss with, and then the boss kind of ruined me but I did kind of like the idea of the spell weakening and then casting really strong spells I did enjoy that alternatively I can go for Hellhorns I heard imps are incredibly overpowered I heard it several occasions and I watched one playthrough of imps which seemed really strong as well but I want to go stitching guard one more time with Awoken as the backup I think um, yeah I mean that's 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 good let's let's try that and then see what happens uh, I'm gonna play in the Covenant rank one again, so enemies are stronger and additional add additional random cards to your starting deck. Yeah, this could be good, could be bad. Let's find out. And I'm gonna go for a similar build as last time, I think. Ooh, we get a random starter card starting card of Helical Crystallis, a sting, and frenzied swarm. Apply dazed one to enemy units, discard your hand. Okay, that card needs to fucking go. But these ones are actually not bad. Times two, so we get two of these. Man, if we get that random uh, stings are better, like we had last time. That could be pretty good, but that's pretty random. That was an artifact that we randomly got. This time we have grand plus one stack of spikes each time it's applied, or enemies get minus one damage. Um, I'm not really planning on adding spikes or anything, so I think this is probably better. They're probably, I mean, I could have skipped for 25 bucks, to be honest. That might even be better, to be honest. Anyway. Oh, I don't even get that choice this time. Oh, uh, well, okay, I guess we're doing something completely differently. So, we can either go for damage spells cost on this 4 cost minus 1, or strike, apply 10 frostbite to the attack uh, unit, and frostbite deals damage at the end of a turn. I feel like frostbite's okay against... Uh, actually, it's, only, it's not even... Oh, God, I want to restart and get the other run, but... Because it's not even uh, sweep, so it's just, it's not it's not that good. I was thinking, you know, if it's sweep, then it'll just do a lot, it, it'll be really good against m like minions, I guess, but not against bosses. I think we're just gonna go for this uh, damage spells or casting this four cost minus one. So I guess we're not going for the play that I was planning on going for. That's okay. Good day, sir. Thanks for the free kingdom videos. Helped me a little to get into the game. Well, I'm glad it helped, Benny. Uh, all right, so let's jump into our first battle. Restart? Nah. Let's just go with it. Non-boss enemy units get plus four damage. Yeah, fuck it, why not? We got a unit draft, sure. And these disciples have been granted, but I don't know why I'm reading that again. We've seen this before. Alright, so we got the crossbows. We have the 335. And they when they slay, they get a damage shield. Okay. Um, and they have a... Okay, yeah, okay. And then there's... Yeah, okay, right. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, sure, it's fine. Sure. Alright. Let's see... What happens here? So we got six damage, which means that if I play you, you're just gonna die instantly unless I play the train steward in front of you, which I guess is okay. Um, man, it's just gonna be rough. And then we're just gonna cost these for free. Ooh, it's also. It is oh shit! The bristles. Okay, man, I should go remember. Thank you so much for becoming an Ashigaru member. 
Enjoy your little rice bag next to your name. If you join my Discord, I'll make sure to give you the right rank as well. Uh, let's just pop, put this on him. But yeah, that, that is only damage spells, not, not healing spells. Or not spells in general, which is good to know as well. Alright. Absolutely terrible so far. Oof, I need to kill that thing. Okay, well, we can use a sting on that. Let's see here. Um... Oh boy, this is not going well so far. We can also place a train steward, but we could do that here as well. Damage spells costing less means I really want to cast my spells here, of course. Healing that doesn't even do anything. Uh, I think... I think we'll put a train steward here. We'll want to, I think we we'll want to sting this thing. Just get the money, it's important. Um, I think we're just going to cast this, just because why not? It costs nothing here, and then we have enough to play other stuff as well. So if we play tra two train stewards, uh, that thing will still survive, which seems entirely pointless. But uh, sure, and then the heal is completely point. Oh, right now he dies as well. That's that's really rough. Uh, does this help in any way? Wait, why is he? Oh, because it's a crossbow guy. Right. Uh, this doesn't change anything. He still died. Okay. Well, this is a terrible first run. Can't kill anything. <laughs> Absolutely horrendous. And now he's got the damage resistance as well. Oh, this would, this would have been really good earlier on, but... So that will kill this no problem. Uh, I think we use the Sting to get rid of that damage shield, and then we can use... Uh, no, we can't. I haven't got enough mana to do any all, all those things. Okay, well, he, they're going to die to that in one, so he's going to get one attack off. That's fine. If I could kill these guys instead, that'd probably be more useful. So we're going to Sting here, and then... Uh... There's no way I can do a little bit of damage first to him, so that's unfortunate. You can even put a train steward up here, which won't do anything. Will it? Well, we can do that. Let's kill that one off. Um, and that one's gonna die to him. We are. How the hell are we even gonna kill the boss? <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is a really bad run so far. They skip their next attack. Uh, that seems entirely pointless. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop the train steward here, I guess. Or, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know how this even makes any. There's no point in doing that, honestly. Well, I don't know how the fuck we're gonna deal with this thing. <laughs> it's, oh, actually, yeah, yeah, that, that's actually gonna do quite well. Um, yeah, let's do as much damage as possible to him. Alright, that's all I got. And then I guess we hope we draw some more of those, but we only have two of those cards, so... Oh, we draw... well, never mind. He's still not dead, actually. But he is awful close. If we draw any kind of damage next turn, I think we might be okay. Yeah, we're good. Alright, thank fuck for that. Wasn't as bad as it could have been, but it wasn't great. We start again. Nah, we're good. It's always trash in the beginning when you haven't got good cards yet. Got another one of those. Uh, we can do draw one, discard one, or we can get Crypt Builder Offering. Offering, if discarded before the end of your turn, it will instead be played. Deal 60 damage to the front enemy unit and push it to the back. So this is a good combo, but we can only choose one of these. I think we're just going to go for the Helical Crystallis, to be honest. Although that's the card we had like a billion of in the, f the other run, and it didn't really work out. And we don't even have the spell uh, weakness this time either. Offering token, I guess, is okay. It's not a bad card. We already have two of these, and I feel like I'd rather just upgrade the ones we have and then duplicate those rather than getting more unupgraded un ones. You know what? I'm going to go for offering token instead. Enhance with four, apply four spikes, or deal damage, move that unit to the front. Uh, Sting is just good. It's okay. It's, yeah, it's pretty good. It, it was better when we had that upgrade for it. Fine Grasp can actually be alright, I feel. It's a zero cost. And it, it's, it lets you just kill off weak units in the back sometimes as well, which is nice. But I'm just going to go for Sting. And then we have Cold Kalia as that sweep Frostbite. We can add a Resolve. Triggers after combat. Okay, so whenever this thing survives, we get a Sting. Uh, or Husk Hermit, which is the sweep decent unit. I think I'm gonna just go for the Husk Hermit again. I'm going for stuff that I did last time, and it didn't work out last time, so this 
I don't even know what the final boss is gonna be, by the way. It's Seraph. Uh, temper to strength. Oh, it's the same fucking. It's the same enemy as we had last time. Okay, that's gonna be great. Um, yeah, let's go for the Ask Kermit. Alright. We have magic and money, or steel and units. Uh, I think, I mean, either one is pretty good. Um, I want to upgrade some spells. I guess we should also have a look at what goes, what, is, what, what happens further on. We got artifact and health, or magic and banner, and then we also have the concealed caverns. So we can get magic next turn. I don't think I need the health. Um, so maybe get steel this time. Although we only have one unit to upgrade. That's the, well, one unit is worth upgrading. Not has Kermit. The rest isn't really worth doing. So I feel like that's kind of a waste. And then after that we get steel, health, or... Um, actually, this third thing. Unstable Vortex, removing units. Duplicate, money, Stygian thing, and then the upgrade. Yeah, I think we're just going to go for magic anyway. Even though we get another magic one here. Maybe we'll go for artifact instead. We'll, we'll see. But I want to go... I get another unit here as well, though, and then we can upgrade that with steel. Yeah, alright, fine. We'll go for, wait, let's get a unit first and see what we get. An Awoken Hollow. A 60 max health. So this is a 15-15 that gains 60 max health, so it doesn't, it doesn't heal for 60 immediately as well, but that is that thing we had before in the other run. And then we have the Thorned Hollow, which gains 40 health, and then Reju Rejuvenate gives it spikes. Um, I quite like this one. I think that's just better in general. It's a big tank. Let's go for him. Hello, f hey, the bristles. You're from the D6 Fix crew. What the fuck? Okay, thanks for the support, dude. Hello, Werner Meyer. We'll try to watch the stream for once. Like this game, me too. Who are you on? Are you on the Discord, the bristles, the D6 Fix uh, Discord? Do I know you from there? Uh, anyway, let's see what we can do for upgrades. Uh, 25 health, quick. Quick is good for sweep. Uh, in camp, gain one armor. I don't know if that's really relevant. We also can purge a card. So all we have right now is, um, yeah, the Husk Hermit and then that other one we just picked up, the Awoken Hollow. Those are the only units I want to upgrade. So what would I want to give on them? I think Quick is actually fairly good on uh, the Husk Hermit. S like, sweeping a bunch of weak units from the back immediately. It seems pretty solid, so I'm going to go for that. And I might even just want to give it 25 HP as well, just so it has a little bit more survivability. Um... Because this is the unit I want to be spending my heal cards on mostly, I think. So we're just going to go for that as well. Just buff up that Husk Kermit. If we can get some uh, copies of Husk Kermit, that could be good as well. Encant might actually not be that bad. Because um, we're going to be... Like, if we put... If we give that to the unit that's going to be on the same area or, like, tier as our uh, leader guy. Or, or, what do you call him? Uh, our boss guy. Then... We get to cast spells for free, and in Kant, is whenever you cast a spell, you gain one armor, in this case. So if we put that on the on the minion that's going to be at the bottom, or tank at the bottom, we're going to just constantly be giving it armor. But on the other hand, I don't know if I want to give that to this guy, because I feel like this guy's going to be at the bottom. To uh, sweep and quick a bunch of weak units away from us immediately. But then again, I guess that's what our, our free spells are going to... You know what? I will give it to this guy. Let's in Kant gain one armor on him. Let's do it. I don't know if that's correct, but fuck it. We're gonna just try shit out. Oh, it's Bill! Fucking hell, Bill! Yeah, I mean, I know I know you, Bill. I didn't realize the bristles was Bill, though. How's it? How are you doing, Bill? Will there be blood? Maybe. Hey, Jack Wilson. Oh my god, you changed your name, Jack Wilson. You changed the colon thing in your name to an actual L. Um, you probably answered my question about that, and then I totally forgot to, or didn't read that. Why not put the boss guy on the second level? Yeah, maybe I will. Maybe we'll put the sweep guy on the bottom and then boss guy on the second tier. That might be a, a good idea. Non-boss enemy units enter with spikes free. Uh, sure, we're mostly spell-based. Which isn't entirely true right now, but we should be okay. Get some extra money. Thanks for the support, Bill. I I still have all of your um, vlogs to watch. Like, well, the, the, the last, like, three, I think, maybe? You... I, I'm, I haven't painted in a while, and I like watching them when I'm painting. Uh, right, so we haven't got our good one. We could put this guy down. We're going to take zero damage, because these are all tanks, but they have loads of spikes, so they will do damage in return to me. Um, I could just do that to kill one off. I can actually play Frozen Lance, and then I kill both of them. That seems alright. 
I put, do I just put him on the bottom for now anyway, then? Uh, nah, we'll still put him here, I think. Well, I, I like I like going for that plan. I still have enough mana to do all those things. I just won't be able to play Awoken Hollow right now, but that's okay. So let's do uh, Frozen Lance and then that one. That kills both of them. All right. Miniature painting stream went. Oh, I have thought about it, but I don't know. Alright, so Husker wants to be down here, and then if it's quick, it'll kill both those. Actually, no, we won't, won't kill that one. Let's go 40 fucking HP. Let's not kid ourselves. I want to kill that, so a Sting will do, or I can play a Train Stuart. Uh, what is this thing? Uh, enchants other friendly units to the same floor, getting a bonus ground to spikes. Okay. What's Enchant again? Can't remember. Um. Husker, I mean, it does kill that thing off, which is okay, I guess, but it's not super necessary right now. But doing a tiny bit of damage to that seems pretty useless, but I think we're still going to do it. We'll take a bunch of damage from the spikes, which is annoying. Uh, I want to sting this down, just for the money. And then I, but I put the train steward here for a little bit extra DPS. I don't know if that's worth doing. I guess I can cost two more things. Do I just do six damage? I don't even know. I guess I do. Uh, train Steward to restore for the extra one HP. I guess I'll just put the Train Steward down. It's just that it, I'm just going to take more damage from the, the spikes on that thing. It'll take five damage in return. Which is pretty rough. Maybe I'll put, the, put him here just to tank for that guy. For my boss boy. For now. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. I'm doing a Google Doer list since seeing uh, your models. Oh, thanks, dude. I still gotta paint the. I got them right here. I used just primed only the Keeper of the Dungeons. I got the other ones sitting in the closet over there. Closet? In the cabinet over there. But yeah, I gotta paint the. The Keeper of the Dungeons. The tournaments might be re resuming soon because of, uh, like, the Corona stuff is, is going down a little bit. And uh, events are gonna be allowed up to certain people and. You know, with certain cautionary uh, things in place. But yeah, tournaments might be resuming soon, so that'll be good. Uh, anyway, let's do a couple of stings, that makes sense. Is there... Wait, is this... Okay, it's a moment's respite already, so it's the boss fight coming up next. Um, I could put a train steward down, but I, mean, I won't be able to put my actual big boy down anymore. What is the boss guy again? I have no idea. I'm sure we'll be fine. doesn't matter. Uh... Let's do this. Get rid of... Okay, we got that car. That's nice. We can kill this thing off right now. And then I think I'll just put the train steward. Do I put him here? Yeah, I think I will. I should have put him in the back. That was dumb. Oopsie. I'm sure we'll still be fine, but... Let's get Young Chat again soon. Yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to it. I want to chat with you guys again. Alright, there's the boss with his insane spiky stuff. Okay. Um, well, I think I'm just going to chuck the stings immediately. Draw some more cards next turn. We didn't draw our other tanky boy, which, uh, if we draw him next turn, we can still put him there. Woken Hollow. There he is. So I don't want to play any train stewards, at least not there. I can put him on the top floor if I want to. We'll just frozen land a little bit for some tiny bit of damage. I guess I will. Do I heal him? I don't know if that makes any difference, but sure. They all die except for he takes 41, alright. We'll be alright next turn, I reckon. If I draw any of my big damage thing, we should be okay. Alright. There you go, that one is good damage. Uh, let's just start spamming skills, I guess. There's our Woken Hollow as well. Oh wait, he's free. Oh, he's free. Shit, I thought he was two. Well, that's... Fuck myself. Um, play that. Let's get rid of... This thing. Nice. Got another one of those big ones. And then I think we're just gonna put you here. As a preparation for next turn. We might not be able to kill him. But he's not gonna do a whole lot of damage to the Pyre. So we'll, we'll be okay regardless. Uh, oh, he's dead already. Yeah, we got him. All right. That was close, but we got it. Oof. Let's see what we got. Deal free damage, apply eight frostbite. 
Titan Scrap to do 25 damage to the front enemy unit, discard a card at random. Or another Helical Crystallis. I do like that card. It's just I want to upgrade it first. We're about to upgrade some, I think, and then afterwards I think we can duplicate, so... This is alright. Discarding a card at random is a bit... Eh, though. I guess, like, you know, I could play it in a way where it works out. It's free if I play it on the... On the level of the other guy, the our main guy, so that's okay. Uh, I mean... I think one cost spells are really important. Because of the fact that they cost zero on certain rows. Yeah, let's go for that one. Fuck it. Razor Sharp Edge. Enhance the unit with 8 damage minus 2 health. Consume, apply 5 regen, or Restoration Detonation. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that one. We actually have quite a bit of stuff that needs to get healed now. I have two minions that have maximum HP. Love the streams, keep up the good work. I will do, Jack. Thank you. Right, so... I think we're gonna go for magic and, uh, yeah, make our magic spells better now. Artifact could be good, but it'll probably be trash. Let's go this way. Let's go there first. Let's see what we got. Oh, I sh shouldn't have... Okay, we're fine. Well, there's one thing that allows you to copy a card five times if I... If I had actually, um, gotten that now and I didn't upgrade my cards first, I would have been quite sad. Remains of the once great Rail of the Covenant littered the landscape. One of the Rail Spikes still contains some lingering power. You could take it and use it on one of your units or uh, or enhance your own magical prowess. Do you take the Rail Spike? You can enhance a unit with 20-20 and add Purge. Once played, this card is removed from your deck for the rest of your run. Why the fuck would I want that? Increase magic power by 20 and add Purge. Reduce cost to zero. What? Well, I don't want any of those things. I don't want to remove a card from my deck. Although I... I don't know. Do I want a 20, like an extra 20-20 on a train steward? I guess it's better because it'll get rid of a card, right? I can get. I, I mean, yeah, that's it's it's a, it's a cheap way to remove a card from my deck. If I don't want that card, like Frozen Lands, you know, I can make it a 26 damage thing and then it's gone. That's all right. Unfortunately, I can't put that on Frenzied Swarm, can I? Add purge to a train steward. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. I'll just I'll put it on a card that's trash that I don't want in my deck, and then just have it disappear. So that'll either be a train steward. Is there any other card like a heat, like a um, like a frozen lands? I, I don't want frozen lands either, I guess. But for now, I guess they're better than train steward. So yeah, let's let's put this on a train steward. Just fucking see you later, train steward. Take the real spike and apply its remaining power. It seems to only be effective for its final use as it disintegrates in your hand. All right. They're complete trash. Yeah, Train Steward is like absolutely horrible. Alright, let's see what kind of unit we get. Another Awoken Hollow is good. Fine Mother out of Steam. Oh, that's the. Sp okay, yeah, I want another tank guy. I mean, that's pretty good. Let's upgrade some cards. Okay. Upgrade a spell to consume, remove consume and cost plus one. No, I'm going to put that and that on uh, one of our Helical Crystallis. Crystallis? Crystalli? Um. Yeah, I think we're just going to buff that one twice. That seems good to me. That seems decent. Wait. No, I don't want anything on that. Um, yeah. And then hopefully we can duplicate that card. Uh, that one, please. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I don't want that. I will reroll. Have a look what else I got. I can do that again. And then I can still purge a card. So I could do this on the other one, so I have two good helical chrysalises. Um, chrysalises. You can also put it on a restoration detonation. Or at least the... I think this is this is good. But I could put the upgraded spell plus 10 magic power on the on this one. Because then it becomes a more damaging heal. But I don't, I don't care too much about the, the damage, but the heal of 20 is also quite nice. But I could also just make this the same as the other card is. But I th no, I think this is alright. Let's do this. I do have quite a bit of healing to do. And then I'll purge a card as well. Let's get rid of one of the train stewards. Although I only have like three minions, so... Um, I really want to purge this card. Apply one dazed enemy and it seems absolutely horrible. Discarding your hand is just the worst thing. Although, I mean, if you use it last, I guess it's not that bad, but... I just feel like it's not really fitting in the, fitting, fitting in the deck, so I'll get rid of it. 
Fuck off. Alright, one is good, but two is better. Mate, I have no money, alright? Right, I'm off. Day Dallas, first boss, like, proper boss fight. Wi-Fi is dying, so I think this is the end for me today. Alright, see you later, Tabaka. Alright, he's gonna put those little bombs down. Good for him. <laughs> what does they even do? It makes them skip their skips. It makes them skip their first turn. Oh, my quick sweep guy would have been insane here. Uh, okay, if I place this guy here, they'll just kill it. I think I'm gonna just set up on the second row. We can definitely kill that with a cheeky sting. I mean, I could just kill a couple of these with stings and stuff as well, but this thing will blow up before I get to do anything. So I have to kill that with an actual attacking card. Um, so yeah, I think we're just gonna... Well, we, I guess we play him first here. And we'll play you there as well. You're the worst out of the three cards I have. You take up free spaces as well, which kind of sucks. But here you are, anyway. Then we'll pop that here. And then we'll pop this here. And I don't want to place a train steward down, because it'll just die and that'll be pointless. Could put it on the top floor. I think... How many minions do I have? So I have uh, two Awoken Hollow and then one Husk Hermit. So that's two, five, uh, eight pips. So I probably want to have a Husk Hermit and one Awoken Hollow on the bottom floor. Then I have that one. So I have the top floors open for whatever. So I guess I'll put a train steward on the top floor, because why not? Although it might get killed. And then that'll be for, you, for nothing, which kind of sucks, but... Well. Oh, well, I mean, that's unfortunate, I guess. Uh, Helical Chrysalis is good in combination with a Sting here, because then I'll, that'll kill that and that one as well. I have another Sting to kill this thing, so that's fine. We're going to take six damage here, that's okay. We can use a Frozen Lance there, too. Yeah, and then I have this boy, who I think is going to go on the bottom floor, together with my other guy. But I don't know if I can do that now, because it'll just take a lot of damage for no reason. Let's start by stinging you. You are amazing. Thanks for the sub. If you are watching this and not just randomly subbing from watching a different video. I want to sting this one and then Helical Chrysalis. That kills two of them. Then I can put, put you down here and it'll just kill that thing. And then I will save a little bit of damage there. And then I guess I'll put you up here as well. And we can do some more damage to him. Oh, that's my Purge Boy. Well, he's fucking gone now. I totally didn't read that. I could have... Possibly kept him for a better opportunity, but well, it's done now. I need my heal. My big heal will be great. That one right there. Because that will kill that thing and unheal him quite a bit as well. And then I can use Frozen Lance and Helical Chrysalis to kill both of those things off so he doesn't take any damage. That's basically all I got though. I was wanted to put a Husk Hermit, which actually has Quick, so it'll kill that as well. So I could, put, I could use that instead of something else. I definitely want to do this. Can murder that thing. Now he actually survives already. I'd still like to kill him though. So I Yeah, well that that kills that first, so I don't I guess I then don't need to use Frozen Lance first. Alright, so we'll put you in the It's funny because this guy's actually it's weird. I should have given him a more attack. I don't know why I gave him more HP. He's my he's my DPS, really. Eh, whatever. Put him in the back. This guy can tank. Then we'll do that. Um, do we even need to? I mean, it doesn't die right now. I could use this instead, but then we discard a card. I guess we can't spend anything. Yeah, it's fucking. Yeah, there's no reason to do that. All right, and then we're good. Okay. That's a lovely wave because he just kills all of them no problem. So this is already dealt with immediately. No need to worry about that. Here, though, we need to do something about this, so a cheeky Frozen Lance, I guess, is good enough. Then we'll start healing you up a little bit. And then, yeah, let's see what else I got, actually. Get rid of that. A Sting, just to draw more next turn and hit them on him. Can't play you anywhere, can I? Nope, definitely not. Alright, that'll be enough. Yeah, that's right, that's pretty good right there. Uh -huh. Oh, my fucking Train Steward is fucking taking that shit. Hopefully, 
Australia will bring back gaming soon if you're not gaming at home. We'll be waiting till November. Yeah, it sucks. I'm, I, I, you know, I've only been in the hobby for a little bit, but I, I really have an itch now. Like, oh, I want to fucking play some games. I, tr I played one with my girlfriend. She, you know, she, she did it for me, but she didn't like it a whole lot. I don't blame her. Uh, let's do that. That. Oh, I miscounted somehow. Right, I didn't upgrade that one. That was the, the weaker one. Eh, it doesn't matter. His thing still dies. Um, start healing you up. I should cast something here just so I don't take 20 damage. Alright, and then... Yeah, I should really put an incant thing on his floor. That was the plan initially, wasn't it? Yeah, and then I just cast spells and it'll just... Because I, I need to just... Because they're free, and then the incant will give it more stuff. But this one... Is the one with Encant and this one doesn't. Okay, good to know for the future. Alright. I saw a live of Pixel Apollo, too much peeps there. Yeah, I imagine he has loads of viewers. Is this the final wave? I guess it is. Uh, Alright, start hitting him then. Do a little bit of that. And then. Oh, he's one off from dead. Alright, well, we're good then. Boom. Alright. Clean. Alright. Got a rare. Spike of the Stygian. Apply one sap and frostbite. Nope. Pyrebound. Deal 90 damage to the front of the but You can only use it in the pyre room and the floor below it. Still pretty good though. Um, is it? I mean, it is It is clearly good. 90 damage, but... Uh, apply two regen, two spikes, add a copy of this card to your discard pile. For two costs. It's not even that terrible, but I don't think so. But yeah, Ice and Pyre. Because um, it's good, but it's only good in very specific situations. And other the other times, it's going to be in your like you're, it's going to be in your hand. You can't use it, and then when you need it, it's not in your hand. Like that's that's going to be the big problem with this card, I think. Like it'll be useful in some very specific cases. If I could like, if I could draw it whenever I needed it, then yeah, great. Otherwise, it's basically just dead a dead card until very specific moments. So I'm actually not going to take it, which just sucks because that's a, that was a rare card right there. Uh, all right, I think we're going to take an icy silphit just to do that sp uh, spell weakness. While we're not really a spell weakness deck, it probably still work out quite well. And I think we want to draw more cards because we can have free cards. Uh, on our on the level of our main guy, it's they're free or at least they're well they're one cost less. So I think that's pretty important that we draw more cards. It's pretty neat how it shows you the damage and stuff before you end your round. Yeah, it's actually an option. You can turn that. It's the, it's off by default, but I I turned it on immediately. I feel like you should have gone with the spikes thing at the beginning. Yeah, the I know this thing in, instead of this thing. I, I probably should have. Right, so we have Forgotten Boons, we have the Duplicate Card and Stygian Banner, or we have uh, Steel, Health, and Unstable Vortex. I like Unstable Vortex, but I also like duplicating cards. I would want to duplicate probably this Helical Chrysalis, or maybe even Icy Silphid if I can upgrade it. Is there Steel on the same side? No, there isn't. Steel's here. Damn. Um. Hmm. What would I want to duplicate besides Helical Crystallis? I mean... I guess the Husk Hermit. Although Husk Hermit, I really upgraded the wrong way. I don't know why I went for more health. I should have... Uh, this isn't our tank. This is our. This would have been our DPS, so I really should have given it more damage. Free damage is really bad. Like, it will still kill a bunch of things on the first attack, but I really messed this card up, like, horribly. Um... So I think, honestly, it's Helical Chrysalis. Unless I could upgrade these, but again, there's no steel, so... Sure, I think we're gonna go left. Money as well. We don't have a lot of money, to be honest. Let's get a banner first, see what we get. Another Icy Silivet, that's good. Um, this could be a decent tank, but we already have some tanky boys, so let's go for that instead. Then, let's upgrade. Let's see what we get, actually, here. So we can go for minus two costs, but how many cards do we have that cost two, like, spells, damage spells? I don't think we have any. No, literally zero. So that's currently doing nothing. Spell weakness, yes. And it makes some sweep as well. Alright, perfect. So we can kind of go over a little bit towards spell weakness. We'll go for that one for sure. And now we need to copy paste. I think it's just going to be the Helical Chrysalis. Yeah, let's just do that. 
I could get another offering token, I guess. It's not bad. Maybe even this one is not too bad, but no, nah, let's just go for the big damage. More of those, please. All right. Sounds bueno. Hey, I'm duplicating cards over here. Clip Tormentors. Uh, oh yeah, it's the guy that adds cards to your hand or to your deck if you let him go. Non-boss enemy units restore our health and move, move up a floor. Sure. Although this thing has 95 health, I don't know how the fuck we're gonna be able to kill it. Well, let's just do it anyway. I want a random artifact. We had a few non-essential games for channel, but still doesn't scratch the itch. Yeah. It's it's annoying as well because it's not like you can't play yourself, but no one else is playing either. So I was like, you know, while I can't play, I'm hoping that other people will release videos like you and Zorp Zorp, etc. Releasing videos of playing the game, but obviously you can't either unless you're playing with just you know a mate or something. So it's it's rough because there's like nothing to get your. F I've been rewatching old videos from you guys and Zorp Zorp and stuff just to kind of scratch that itch a little bit, but it's not it's not doing it for me. Um, but yeah, I uh, I did buy some. I bought the uh, like a secondhand version of the um, Goblin Town starter set from the Hobbit. I'm planning on building like a Goblin Town army list. I've already got like uh, points for. 500, 550, 600, 650, 700, 750. I have like lists written for all of that basically. It's gonna be cool. Cause I, I saw, I played once as them uh, in a tournament where you basically switched armies every time you uh, played a round. And then I played one round with against Goblin Town and one round with them and they were obviously awesome to play with. So I figured I played them myself. Anyway, back to the actual game. People like, people besides you are me like, what the fuck are they talking about? Can't even buy half the range on Go uh, Games Workshop because they're Removing some of the range from Australia purchases. Oh, that's fucking annoying as well. Well, in that regard, I'm happy I don't live in Australia or New Zealand. Be yeah, horrible. Anyway, yes. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins and all that. Uh, okay. So I'd really like to kill this thing. Is there any way I can? Uh, because Husk Hermit, together with Icy Silver, is four damage, which isn't enough. Uh, oh right, he actually deals it. Uh, he kills it. We put him on the bottom floor now. Now that I have spell weakness on him, together with Icy Silphet. Although then we don't have any tanks. Oh no, we can we can put the Husk Hermit as a tank. I guess that's not terrible. It's not exactly what I want. I want him as a tank. But yeah, that'll probably have to do. Uh, put you there, and then we'll put Husk Hermit as a tank. I guess in this case it works out that I gave him a bunch of extra armor. Uh, yeah, let's just do some damage. We'll play this. Although, is that any... That is, well, it heals, which doesn't do anything right now. Alright, fair enough. Give this guy a bunch of spell weakness, and then... You know, while I do go up to full health, at least we can spell weakness from down. Okay, so this will currently kill both of those right now, so that's pretty good. Uh, I want another ice. I want as many ice silphus down to just start spamming their spell weakness on them. Um, so I think we're just gonna place this and then we place that here. I, I don't necessarily need to put her down right now, so that's good. We can also sting. They heal fully, so sting doesn't really, really do anything unless it actually kills them. But I think the play here is gonna be you. You behind. Then that's get the extra money as well, and then we'll just sting for no fucking reason. Or do I just rest well I guess yeah. It draw it draws me an extra card, so sure. Sure. So that thing's again, it's gonna be full health, but we have a bunch of spell weakness on it now, so we just kill it off like that's easy enough. Uh, restoration detonation will also kill it, which is even better, I think. So we get a heal off as well. 315 damage. Cheeky. This is even gonna be enough, is it? No, it's no. Oh god, that's really awkward. Uh, I mean, I'm still gonna do it, but it actually isn't enough. Although, no, yeah, it will be because of the damage now, of course. Sweet. Uh, and then we'll just put the heal on. Are you the encamp guy? No. Well, then I'll heal you. Train steward, do I even want to put you down at this point? I still have one more. No, I have two more big boys. No, yeah, I don't want to place you at all. In a third world country on the other side of the world. <laughs> yep. It do be like that. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna go ham again. I don't want to do that until it's the last thing I play. Let's do that. 
Alright, so... I want to play this first and hope I don't get rid of the frozen lands. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's pop this on you again. Alright, with two mana left over, a brief respite. Well, we are going to do this on you for some healing. We're going to cast the stings just to get the health out, or just to get the extra cards out next turn. I'll put you down the top floor, and then put a heal on you. I should have put the uh, stings here so he would have had two extra armor. Probably won't matter, but again, minor misplay. It might matter later on. Alright, how are we doing right now? 185 damage. Okay, that's not a lot. Let's see here. It's going to cast a bunch of spells. Uh, we want to do that. that. There's one more guy, right? I could have sworn there was. Is there not? Did I miscount somehow? Is he in my pool? No. Okay, then I can place you down, I guess. But I'd better... No, I can do both. Yeah, do this. Uh, there. And then do that. Alright, so he doesn't die, but we're going to add a bunch of spell weakness to him. And then next turn... We should be able to do one spell and he'll die instantly. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. He's not doing a ton of damage to the Husk Hermit, so he's just tanking it all up. Speed that up a little bit. Alright. Now, all we gotta do is stats. 945. Would have been twice 945, but it never happens. Winged Steel. When you play your third card of the turn, draw two. Oh my god, that is so good with this deck. Yes, please. Well, that's really solid, actually. You, do, you can just spam spells like crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be good. We just need UK correspondences for the PG models. <laughs> Got Total War Rome on my computer, but map battle takes too long to load. Think the game is too old or computer is bad. Yeah, sometimes it, Rome Total War can be kind of weird. I, f I remember when I played it that you would have to essentially set it to only use one core, because if you have like, I don't know, four cores or eight cores on your computer, on your CPU, um, then it, it uses too many and it doesn't know how to handle that, so you need to set it to only use one core in the, like the program, no, not in the, what you, in the task manager thing. In Cant, apply Frostbite 2 to enemy units, apply Sap 3, discard a card at random, offering, apply Sap 3, no, I'll take the money here, I don't want any of that trash. Uh, consume draw free next turn. That is actually not bad. And graft is good as well. Uh, and focused growth, restore 25 HP, draw two next turn. That's not too bad because this will be a one cost. And graft will be a zero cost. They're all pretty good actually. I, I, honestly, I'd probably want all of them. I feel like focused growth is actually the best in this scenario because it only costs one. And we do need some healing on the front, like on the front guy. Um, but, god, they're all good. And Graft is nice as well, and it'll be free. Restoring one health sucks, but I can make it 10 health, or 11 health, if I give it a buff or something. Um, ugh. This is really solid as well. It's only a one-time use, but even so... Like, one time use per battle, of course. Drawing free the next turn. But again, it kind of depends on when you draw it. I think I'm going to go for Engraft. Maybe I can even give it uh, like the car, the thing where it, become, it comes into the top of my hand every time. I'm talking about a draw pile. Either that or use it through Virtual XP Machine. That works for, better for me, actually. Okay, well, maybe try that. Should have killed a Sting for the BM. <laughs> I didn't actually... I just saw a card. I was like, oh, I'll use that. A uh, duplicate another card could be okay. Merchant of Steel is good. Uh, for, yeah, I think we're gonna go this way. I mean, I like these two, but I like everything here. I mean, the artifact could suck, but in fact, let's find out what the artifact is. Merchant costs are reduced by 25%. Okay, Encounter with this trigger an additional time. We do have one Encant right now. This one, gain one armor, but... I feel like 25% cost reduction on merchant prices is pretty... Like, it's too good not to do. What cards do I want to remove from my deck? Definitely the two Train Stewards. One of them is gone now, of course. So, yeah, Train Stewards. Um, and the, the Frozen Lances are pretty crap as well, but at least they do something. Uh, let's see what we can do upgrade-wise first. 
10 damage. See, this would have been so much better on Os Kalo, I already f or Os Kermit. I already fucked up. Can I, like, replace? No, I can't. Can I add 10 damage to an Icy Silver? That's not bad, actually, because then it does 11 damage sweep. It's pretty good. Multi-Strike. Ooh, that's really good. We did that last time on them. That's actually pretty solid as well. I'm right, going to put that on you. And then Multi-Strike as well. Because then it's 22 damage, which is also already pretty good, but also it's spell weakness times two. So we'll just pop that all on. And then Hearthstone. Do I want 25 HP? Is it what is it 20? Yes, yeah, 25 HP. Uh on my encant guy, or do I even want this at all? I guess I do. It I mean it's good for the tanks, right? So yeah, we'll give you give you that 25. Alright, and then we'll re-roll, see what else we get. Quick is only good on sweep, which it's not really that great on a one damage sweep, so I'm not gonna bother with that. I don't really really want that right now. Five damage and ten HP. Ice Silifert, and then another ten damage to make it sixteen sweep. That's pretty solid. This one I gave multi strike to, but I'll take this honestly. I can make these Ice Silifert super beastly. And then sure I'll uh, perch some cards while we're at it. Let's get rid of the train steward boys. I think both of them. Or two of them. Oh, and I still have two cards I can get rid of as well, right? Yes, I didn't even do that yet. Alright, so let's get rid of, rid of the other one as well. I think I actually have room for one, but eh. Fucking just get rid of it. Um, and then I think we're going to get rid of a Frozen Lance. It's the worst card in the deck right now. Alright. Sounds bueno. Let's go. The Psychophants of Seraph. Non-boss enemy units enter with four spikes. It's kind of annoying. Because uh, we do have quite a bit of sweep now. So I'm actually not going to do that. So I'm going to leave, leave that one off. Because the sweep would just do so much damage to our guys. Alright. What have we here? If I place this guy here. Wait, what do you guys do? Extinguish. Trace on death. Give, give plus two damage to all friendly units. Okay, so we want to kill them all in one go. I have a sweep quick husk hermit. Which sounds good, but I don't really want him on the first floor anymore. Or maybe I do. Maybe we're just going to put all of our shit on the second floor. Um, we can put... Oh god. Oh boy. Yeah, alright. I'll put you here. I really want him on the bottom floor though, because then I... He has sweep as well. Um, yeah, all right, yeah, I'll put him on the bottom floor. And then one Icy Silifit as well. Okay, I don't know if this is the best way to go or not. I'm just kind of doing... I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing at this point. Uh, and then we have uh, our... That one. And... Oh, shit, that was the thing I have now. You play your third card, a turn, draw two. Holy shit. Um... So now we have our Icy Silver with Multi-Strike and Sweep. we put you there as well. And we'll put the other one on the second floor. I think that's okay. Alright. Does that go again? No, I guess it doesn't. Okay, good to know. Um, let me put this here so he gets an extra armor. And then we'll remove uh, this guy, because why not? We'll do that. And then this is pointless, but do it anyway. Alright. Chase my name to Bilbo Swaggings. Good night from Australia. Hope to see you soon on Discord. Take care, champion. Thanks, dude. Have a good one, Bill. Um, Alright. Definitely want to sting that one down. This thing is actually not dying. Uh, okay, so let's just start by stinging that. Cheeky bit of money. And I want you here. That's already set as well. Actually, do I have enough mana? Yeah, I should have enough mana for this, because the rest is all free, basically. So we'll go for a cheeky... Um, I want to engraft as well. I have two mana left. If I cast all the expense, like the, yeah, these ones here. Ooh, did I, am I fucking this up by giving them more damage? This one's getting more damage, isn't it? They're all gonna die from the sweep anyway, so I really shouldn't do that. No, all right, so let's just do a bunch of healing here. 
So I could... I could just kill... Actually, I can kill... Yeah, I can kill all of them. Never mind. Well, no. This is still dumb. I'm buffing this thing up. But... I guess it doesn't matter. And then we'll... Uh, we'll yeah. Alright. I think that may have been uh, somewhat incorrect the way I played that, but it's alright. Okay, restoration detonation there is great. It's uh, not bad here either, but it's more healing there, which is definitely more valuable. I think we can kill these ones here anyway, so I'm just going to go for a bunch of damage. Let's do this one here. 420, nice. Um, yeah, let's do the sting. Oh man, the card draw now from this is insane. Holy shit. Um, then I want to do a bunch of healing here. And that's for your encant. Alright. And this doesn't have any encant, so that's pointless. This Dutch guy butchering English. <laughs> what did I do? What did I say? Uh, boring as fuck, although I have a test tomorrow. I really shouldn't be watching streams, but I've done like five hours. So what kind of test is it, Don uh, Toby? Donkey, what the fuck? Have I ever played Styx Master of Shadows? No, but I, I know of it. Uh, what do we got? We got 60 HP on this boy, so a single this hel helical crystallis will kill him. Um, okay. Well, let's start by doing that, shall we? So this guy won't die to just that. You do 35 more damage, which I don't think we can actually get to. Although it's taking 35 from the... Yeah, I guess we have the sweep stuff as well. We don't necessarily want to kill these ones, so that works out. Uh, we want to do... I guess I'll put you down at the top now. We want to do a heal. Let's put that on you. And... I guess we can do a little bit of damage to him. Oh, now we got this. Alright. Now I don't want to do anything else. I don't want to actually kill this one, because we don't, we don't want to kill them. They're gonna all die to the sweep now. Oh, actually, no, I can do, like... I can't, actually. I was gonna say, I can do two damage to it, so it dies from the sweep, but it's okay. We can do that. And then... God, is there any... Well, I guess I can do this here for some extra armor. And get rid of this thing. And then we'll do that. That. Just for the encant. It's only one armor. It's barely worth doing, to be honest, but... A brief respite. Alright. Cast the stings for more card draw next turn. Uh, cast that for some extra health on you. Then the engraft as well on you. Fucking more card draw, because why not? I'm drawing all my helical chrysalises, which I don't actually want yet. Uh, let's do a bunch more healing. want a little bit of healing on you as well. Alright. I better not draw none of my damage now. Okay. As it stands, she doesn't take any fucking damage. That's good to know. There's one Helical Crystallis. Okay, let's start by going with that. Why is she not taking any damage? Oh, because the fucking stealth. Right, okay, fair enough. Oh, that's actually really bad. Um, Because we're not gonna- we're not gonna do any... Oh man, that's really bad. Ooh, how can we avoid that? I need to... That doesn't do anything, but it's still damage. Because I, I, I'm not going to be adding any uh, spell weakness to her. Which is really bad. Get the rest of your health up now. Alright, let's draw something. Okay, we can do a little bit more damage at least. Uh, no. Let's actually just get rid of that. Oh no, I need. I, well, it doesn't matter. Let's do as much damage as possible, draw as many cards as possible. Alright. Her stealth is. Oh, she's still got one stealth as well. Fuck me after all that. Alright, as it stands though, we win it, so it's all good. Alright, just so fucking burst out some damage here. Not that it matters, because again, we already won this, but. Alright. Oof. Japanese grammar and a kanji test. 
Toby, I have a CNS final tomorrow. Yep, here I am. CNS central nervous system. Oh, fucking hell. Right, we did it. Uh, consume applies frostbite sixth enemy units. Magic power, mollusk mage is all right. Urchin spines apply two spell weakness. This is pretty good with the spell weakness stuff. I kind of like mollusk mage as well. Do we have any space for the mollusk mage though? That's the real question. On the first floor, I don't think we do because it's a one, a two, and a two. If we use the Askerman as the tank, which we did last time. On the second floor, it's a three and a two, and on the third floor, it would also be a three. And we don't really need spell damage on the third floor. Unless we do, like in the off chance that a boss gets to the third floor, then maybe that's where it actually makes a big difference. On the other hand, this is just a good card as well. Although it's kind of a dead card for a, a long period of time. Um, if I place him, then I won't be able to do anything else on the top floor, basically. I could put him on the second floor, but then I need to switch everything up. Yeah, I'll, t I'll take him. I'll put him on the top floor. Alright, and Snare. Apply one rooted, a rooted one to an enemy unit. Draw plus one next turn. Pyre Shards consume. Apply Spikes four. And Restoring Retreat to send a unit and restore ten elf. Ten elf. That's actually pretty good as well. We can pile up on the bottom floor. But I don't know if it's good enough. Cost two. It's a bit expensive. Uh, I don't care about a Snare, I think. I do draw an extra card to turn after, but drawing cards isn't really a problem for us. Which I guess means this isn't that bad, because we're going to be drawing so many cards anyway. Restoring Retreat, if I can make it cheaper, descending units and stacking them all up on the bottom floor can be good. If I can get my like my second Icy Silifid down there, and then we have all the Icy Silifids. Although, Seraph, the final boss, is going to ruin me again if, I, if, he, if that happens, because he saps me. Although I think we may have enough damage now to actually get past that. Only use Sting when Orcs are nearby. <laughs> I thought you were going to bed, Bill. Uh, Alright, let's do it. Let's go for that. I think it's not our big boss coming up now, isn't it? Yes, it is. Fell. Alright, we can remove two cards, heal and mercer trinkets, or we can get a random magic and money. I don't think I have two cards to remove anymore. Well, yeah, I do have two frozen lances I would probably want to remove. Um... I want a Merchant of uh, Magic. Is Magic... Do we need that? Yeah, and Graft needs to be upgraded. That card we just got, Restoring Retreat, could be upgraded. Um, yeah, I think we actually do want that. I do want to remove cards, but Random is nice. Money is okay. We don't have that much money, actually, so yeah, we, we need some money for the store. Because even if we get to the Merchant Trinkets, I don't think we can actually afford a single one. And I don't care about the health. So yeah, let's go this way. Ooh, it's uh, giving them shit and then getting something random. An artifact. Uh, yeah, I'll do health. I don't have a lot of... A lot of money. 25% chance. Nope. 50% chance. There we go. Add a sting spell to your hand. At the start of turn, add a sting spell to your hand. So every turn, that's pretty good. Because a sting is a, f a zero cost card. It lets me draw more cards. So yeah, it's a space... Oh my god, I draw so many cards. If it's every single turn, and it always gets me plus one draw next turn. There's no... Okay, this is way too much card draw, but let's see how this goes. <laughs> this should be interesting. Fucking hell, that's gonna be a lot of card draw. Let's get the money, and then let's see what the magic store has in store for us. Get it? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Uh, I don't want that. Upgrade the spell to cost minus one. Yeah, I think... Uh, well, it's really good on grafts, because in grafts it becomes zero cost gain one. Which is nice, but it's also really good on uh, restoring retreats, so it isn't so fucking expensive. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to use this card very often, whereas this one I want to use it every time I have it now. So yeah, we'll, we'll upgrade and graft. 20 magic power and consume. Do I want any card to have consume? Do I want to... This would be insane, but I don't think that's necessary. Uh, no, I want to have that as often as possible, so that's definitely not a good one. That's not terrible. Uh, how much does this cost, actually? 15 bucks. I could also refresh the store, but I might want to put this on something. 
Um, like this is where we overkill. 40 health. It does. It can do 200 damage. Plus any spell weakness makes it even more ridiculous. Could be a nice finisher on the boss, but it's very difficult to set that up properly. This is not too bad because I don't really like this card too much. But. I don't know. I don't want to put it on a sting because then we have round, like a one random sting that all of a sudden is more damage. I'm just going to get confused and mess that up. This card is pretty good to do a bunch of healing, so I don't think I want to do that. Um, don't want to do it on there. I think we're going to put it on here. Get rid of this card out of the deck. Well, not out of the deck, but just use it once and then it's gone. Alright, let's re roll that and see what else we got. Minus one cost. Sure, we can put that on this now, I think. So you can't put it on this, you can't put the same thing on twice, that's good to know. Yeah, let's downgrade that, I think. Or this. Because again, this I'll not use very often. Yeah, I'll actually put on Restoration Detonation, why not? Plus 10 Magic Power, that's good on Engraft, because then it's just a 0 cost, 11 heal, that does a bunch of bonus stuff, it's not bad. Or I can make this 35, which makes it identical to the other one, which is nice as well. The other two, in fact. So I don't mess that up anymore. Um, I like it on Graft for a bit of healing extra, but no, let's put it on there. And then Holdover is actually really solid on Graft. Because then we basically draw it, we draw it every single turn. We have way too much card draw already, but fucking let's go, let's do it. Alright. This ought to be interesting. Fell. This is the... Uh... Uh, Multi-Strike, Fell and Power Units of Rage, okay. Oh yeah, there's statues. Uh, Alright. Let's draw some fucking cards, boys. Uh, wow, you have zero times two. Sweet. Some good damage. This one actually does about quite a bit of damage, so I don't do anything there. I think we're gonna go for the same build as last time, right? Put you here... With the Husker in front. And then just fucking kill this thing instantly. Fucking kill it. And then we got the Ice City. This is not the. This, this one does. Well, this one does more damage, but it's not the multi strike one. I want the multi strike one on the bottom. That's actually pretty important, I think. You're gonna pick up a whole deck for fuck's sake. <laughs> like the amount of card draw I have, yeah. I wanna use in Graft, because it's free. In fact, it's it, it gives me, it's like purely positive and I get it again next turn. If I don't play it, I don't draw it next turn. So I have to play it every turn, otherwise it's pointless. So yeah, just fucking chuck, chuck that on there. Um, do I want to use my stings elsewhere? Just pop them here. I mean, we just want to do as much damage here, don't we? Just fucking cast everything here. Do I want to put Icy Silver down already? It's a bit risky in case this one gets rage or something, but Okay. There you go, that's kind of annoying. That does 10 damage to us, but I might be able to put my tanky boy down. Uh, that one. Oh my god, look at the amount of card draw on turn 2. Cheesy. <laughs> Cheesy? Jesus Christ. Uh, Alright, I want to put you down here. Uh, um, my Mollusk Mage on, on the top, but I'll just die right now, so I don't want to put that down right now. Oh, I could put the other boy at the top as well as the tank for him, but... Put you here. I only have one mana left, so I can't actually do that. I'm gonna draw three more cards when I play the next card as well. This is lovely. Uh, put the small heal on you. For the encant as well. Stop drawing cards, this is ridiculous. Um, I can kill this with a helical chrysalis, which is not bad. But it does cost one mana there. Gotta keep that in mind. Oh god, this is absolutely fucking ridiculous! I could put this up there. I really want to kill this thing, but I get, no, I don't really care actually that much. It's nice, but no, let's put him here. He's gonna take a bunch of damage though, and then we'll put you here. And then that's all my mana gone, so now I can only play shit that doesn't cost mana. So, let's put this... well, let's see. That. And then a little bit of this. Oh, am I giving it fucking armor? Oh shit, yes, it, I am giving it armor. Well, that's fucking dumb. 
Do that. Uh, oh, I don't want that, so let's get rid of it. Uh, this actually kills it right now, which is good enough. So let's put the sting up here first, and then do that, and then I'll die. And then there we go. All right, that's a, this plan was a bit risky. I need, to, I need to get a big heal for that, but I only have four cards left, and I haven't had my big heal yet, I think, so... Should be, yeah, a guaranteed draw for 20 healing right there. Okay, things, is get, things are getting more confusing now. Uh, you get stiff slay. Okay, so no, no crazy shit. This one's gonna die already, that's good. So I think we're gonna do a big heal here. Like, almost guaranteed. Oh, it's, oh, and a plus seven healing from that little bastard, nice. All right, so that one's gone, this one's gonna die as well. Uh, my big boy is actually gonna die here. I need to fucking do something about that, don't I? Why, exactly? What is happening? Sweep, right, you have sweep. So we need to kill this thing. Can I kill it, this thing? I definitely can, all right, that's good. Okay. Oh my god, the amount of stings, my guy. This is ridiculous. Stop it. Uh, restoring retreat. I can actually stack up the other icy silica down here as well. Oof, I'm tempted. I'm very tempted by that. Um, I want to use the heal, of course. And I want to use the sting here. Just for the extra my encamp thing there. And then we'll just. Oh my god. There's too much shit to do. I can play everything. I want I want you on the bottom, yeah, I think that's correct. Let's just do that. And then if I kill you now, I won't take any damage in return, which is nice. And then yeah, this is that, so this thing takes more damage. Alright. Nice to clean out my hand there. And graft OP, yeah, definitely. Fucking boom, boom, boom! Alright, that was good. I don't, I don't know if I needed to do that, but it's, it seemed so good. Uh, ooh, restoration detonation for some cheeky damage right there. Boom, take 840, bitch. <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't expect that. I guess she already had some uh, weakness there. Uh, let's do the stings. I could do some damage, but I'd rather... Well, I probably should have done the damage, but the incant's nice as well. Uh, take some heals. Do that, and get rid of that again, and then just do another heal on you. Okay. Smacker boys. Uh, oh my god, six things in hand, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, I would just pop you down as well, go on. It's a fucking party down here, boys. Um, and graft to you. Uh, I need to actually kill this thing, which I currently have a very hard time doing. Uh, okay, we can do that. There we go. Fucking sting the shit out of her. And heal you up a little bit. Oh, I should have drawn. Oh, nice, that's free. Oh no, it discards down. No, it discards that card immediately. Interesting though. I still got one encant thing out of it. Okay, next turn I'm pretty sure she's dead if she doesn't stay there yet. If I draw any one of these ones. There we go. Oh, is there even a max of the cards you can pick up? For instance, can you actually pick up more than your deck? I, I'm i assuming it's a, a hand size of 10, but I actually haven't counted. Okay, this is really fun so far. I'm liking this. Applying quick is good, but is it good in our deck? I don't think so. Well, it's not terrible on a multi-strike -stri sweep icy silver, to be honest. Um... There's also the Channel Song, which is not bad, but it's it's damage, which I'm not too interested in because of, we're all about spells. Uh, transfer all front. No, I don't like that one. Let's actually go for this. This could actually be all right. What do I want? I want more. Do I? No, I don't want more draw. Do I? Oh, what do I want? I don't need anything. <laughs> These are all shit. Fuck off. Pass ten gold, please. Um, oh, that's actually rough because I I don't think I need more Ember. I. Every time I seem to run out of cards, so plus one draw? But how can that be correct with the stupid amount of draw I already have? I am I always have ten cards in hand after like turn two because of all the uh, stings. So it's either Ember, which probably it isn't, or it's actual Light of Seraph so I can play the Moloch Mage Boy on the bottom floor, I guess. More space, yeah. I think that's actually correct somehow. In this spell-based deck, we want more space, because we have too much draw and mana already. Vortex, Hellvent, that's a good combo. And some health, which I don't need, but that's okay. Uh, money, 
merchant, and random item. How many cards do I want to remove? I guess the two frozen lances are still good to remove. And then what do I want to copy if I want to copy anything? Now that I have more space, I think actually another icy silifert would not be a bad idea. Just so I can place one elsewhere and then I can just move it down. To just fucking stack on the bottom floor like crazy. And then if I give it quick as well. Oh. Um, I could alternatively get another Helico Crystallis, but that, like those three cards, they pop up in my hand so frequently, I don't think I need any more of them. Yeah, I think that's correct to Mundo. So let's go for removing the two Frost cards. Seems weird removing our actual damage from our hands, but... Especially because they're basically free cards. Maybe this is actually wrong. It can't be wrong, can it? Nah, it's just trash. We have stings. We have a bunch of stings, yeah. Get the health. She keep a little bit of health. We're actually one off from full, but oh well. And then we want to copy the Icy Silifert with Multi-Strike, I think. This one's got more damage, but it's only one attack. This one's got Multi-Strike. It's only weak against Sting. Uh, sorry. Uh, not Sting. The thing that attacks back. Uh, I can't remember the fucking name of it now, but yeah, I'll take another one of those. And then let's upgrade our boy. So I apply spell weakness 2 or damage spells cost on this floor cost minus 2. Do we have any minus or a 2 cost spells? I don't think we do, right? Yeah, but that one. But that was not a damage spell, so... No, we're going for that. Alright. A foe awaits us. The Winged Horde. Uh, deal 5 damage to the front enemy unit on death. Harvest triggers when a unit on this floor dies. Okay. Non-boss uh, spikes. See, spikes is really bad for us. So while I would love four hundred bucks, I don't think I can. Spikes. Jeez. Okay, this thing is gonna fucking murder me if I place something down. So I kind of gotta, I kind of gotta kill it beforehand. Uh, we do have our combo here. Okay, so I could do this to kill two of them. Seven. Okay. You only have 10 HP and you're my tank, so I go. I don't think I can. Uh, no, I can play that as well for free. Yeah, it's not great. But now we survive, right? It's only got 7 damage, yeah. Ah, and I draw more cards. Very nafty. N nafty? Nifty. Uh, and then we're just gonna put down some restores, I think. Well, a restore. This doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. Absolutely useless right now. Alright. Not the greatest turn one. But that thing does die with a single spell, basically anything. But now we need to make sure we survive here. Uh, so we need a big old tanky boy up front, that's for sure. It's gonna be our house Kermit, of course. Yeah. He starts off as the biggest tank as well, which is nice. Gotta remember, if we kill these ones, they die. And when a unit on this floor dies, he gains 15 armor. So we kind of need to kill him before killing anything else. You want to get the quick. Is this our right one, actually? This is multi-strike. Yeah, yeah, okay. We got another one here as well. Uh, let's see, we want to apply quick to you. Which doesn't actually, isn't that relevant right now. So let's hold off on that for the moment. I want to kill you. I want to kill that for sure. That's going to take a sting, I think, just to kill that. Uh, although I could place that Woken Hollow. I want to place that here. It will sting you. We got our extra draws. Extra draws. Um, yeah, I think I'd rather put you down first before I put the quick down. I'm going to quick stop that relevant right now. Uh, let's do a heal on you. And then I think we're just gonna have to smack you for a little bit of damage. Although that takes 37, but that's not enough, so. Let's do some stings on you. Oh, I have one mana. What the fuck? Oh, right, hold that. Never mind, yeah, I keep forgetting about that card. Um, do I give you quick? Is that relevant? I don't think it is. I wanna place you down as well. Um, boy, do I wanna place you down? No, I can't, actually. I'm gonna place you down there. That's not where I want you. I'll move something down first, and then I put that. I think we're just going to put the quick on you for now. Okay. Alright. 
my death quote, if we kill him, he dies. Well, I'm not wrong. Alright. Handful. Well, there you go. Okay. Uh, I need a big heal. I need some healing heals here. Oh my god, okay, so... That thing dies from a single sting. Right, let's do that. You have four, so you need something big, so that will easily kill you. I want to use that elsewhere, and now I'm gonna just kill out, kill you off, just like that. So then we'll kill off all the small boys who actually would die from a sweep, but there's no reason not to use this right now. Unless you have encamped. And uh, yes, you already encamped, boy. Okay. <sighs> so much shit to fucking think of. Where's my bring a guy down thing? Restoring retreats. I need you in my goddamn hand already, you son of a boy. Okay. Let's place. No, we'll no. We'll do a move a guy down for no, yeah, we'll place you up top. Yeah, alright. As a final thing. Um Then I need to heal this guy quite badly, because we're gonna take a bunch of damage from this. This is all gonna do fifth this is gonna be fifteen damage, and then this guy's gonna do seven as well. So I need to do some healing. I am gonna sting these. Although there's no reason to except I can use that now, I guess. Yeah, alright, let's do this. Then that to No well no, that's really bad, you son of a bitch. Well, I guess I'm not gonna be able to move anything down next turn. I also should have put the I could I could have encountered once or twice there, which is not, you know, super relevant, but still. Hey you take How you doing? Fucking handful. Stop. Okay, this is pretty big right now. I need a dare as well though. I could have killed this thing off instead. Might have been more relevant. I'm not really playing this correctly. Okay, that's good, but I think you have four... Can I do anything else that would kill you? No, there's no middle ground here. I need to kill this thing as well. So we'll do that. And then we'll do this one here. Just kill that one as well. And then... We need to do some... We need to do a crazy amount of healing. Definitely that one. I'm gonna place... You over here. Yes. I agree. Then I need to do some healing. Do a little bit on that one as well, just in case. Uh, and then we want to use the stings there because they all die to the to this thing guy anyway. Uh, and then that's not relevant. We can even no, we can't cast that there. Okay, so that's all I gotta do. In fact, she has quick strike as well. So I like how my hand is full every turn now. Ridiculous. Right, I got my restoring retreat. Perfect. So let's move you down. Okay, that was basically all my fucking mana. I didn't really consider that, but I still want. I'm. St I was. I would have still done it anyway. I think. I want to use my tiny bit of heal. Then we can do that. And then restoration detonation is pretty good just for the heal in general. And then let's put one more heal on you just to get that done as well. And then I think we'll put you down here. And then. We have sweeps and nothing dies before it does anything, so let's just play the Sting simply to do... Oh, the Sting's doing 12 damage, it's actually not too bad. And this, we can't. Just more armor, it's good, good. Alright. Brief respite, okay, so we just fucking spam cars now. I'll just go for my entire deck every turn, it's insane. <laughs> oh my god, stop! Oh, I could put another one down as well. Oh, come on, that's this fucking party on the bottom floor, boys. The fucking four, well, three Icy Settlements and that one. I'm doing five spell weakness. No, six spell weakness every round of attack. Madness. Madness. Alright, let's remove that. Just get some more fucking armor incantation there. Uh, Alright. Hey, I'm watching Donkey play cards here. Alright, can we murder this guy on the first turn? It'll be the second turn either way, because of course the amount of um, the amount of spell weakness we're gonna put on this guy. Triggers one damaged. Oh boy, it's gonna be super strong next turn. Doesn't matter. Let's fucking play all the cards in the world. Oh, we can put another thing down, but I don't know if we got one to actually. Unless that somehow makes a difference. Did he just? Oh shit, we just made him stronger. We're actually gonna. Oh fuck, I just I didn't realize. Okay, I need to not do that. Oh no, I made- oh no. I hope I still got enough incantation. Oh no. Oh no no no. 
Um, if I put him down, he'll be on the back, which is kind of pointless. So I don't want to actually do these. This is good damage, but it'll make him stronger. This is not what I want to do. So. All right. Yeah, we just want to. We don't want to actually do the damage to him right now. I think. I hope that's correct. Because I want to have as many spell weakness on him as possible. All right. Yeah, that's already enough. We'll be fine. Now he's starting to kill my dudes. He's got 40... 39, alright. Who, who, how are you gonna die? Like that. Boom. 1680 times 2, would it would have been it. But never got the chance. Alright. Guardian Stone. In can apply one armor to friendly units. Yeah. Uh, no and no. This one... Nah. I don't think so. In graft... Sorry, in graft is nice. Don't need another restoring retreat. Reserve forms is nice, but we don't need more card draw, which really makes engraft kind of pointless as well, to be honest. It is more mana, but again, we don't really need more mana either. There's no harm in doing this. Oh shit, I just made him stronger. <laughs> hey, I uh, make mistakes over here. Um, God. Do I have one that I engraft? If it's not upgraded, it's not as good as the other one. Can I look at the map? Is that a thing you can do? Map? Oh, I can actually. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, it, we just did this battle, yeah. So, we have um, Mercenary Magic, Forgotten Boons, and Pyre. And then we have here Unstable Vortex, Merchant of Steel, and Duplicate any card except for your champion. So, we could duplicate a card. No, I don't think we need this. I can duplicate it instead if I wanted to do that. I'll take the money. This is a drinking game. Right, so we, do I want to remove two cards? Though? Like, which cards would I want to remove if I wanted to remove any cards? Uh, honestly, probably the restores, but they're not even that bad. I'd want to remove, like, one restore, I think. I could even remove the stings, because I got too many anyway, but... Do I want to remove the restores? They're not super good in our deck. I mean, they're just not very good in general, to be honest. But, I mean, I do have some guys that need healing. Can I remove one? Up to two cards. Okay, let's remove one. Is there anything else I'd want to remove? Nah, I think I'm good. Can I still go back to that? I can. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's see what else I can do in terms of upgrades here. Do I have any, even have anything I want to upgrade? Yes, the Awakened Hollow that hasn't been upgraded yet. And I guess the Mollusk Mage is not a terrible idea. Endless. Uh, no. 5 health, or 5 damage and 10 health. Um, sure, let's make you not entirely useless, I guess. Why not? And then, do we want to purge any cards? No, we have, we have one card I can still purge for free as well. Guess I'll reroll and see what else there is. Although there isn't really anything I want to do now, because it's just the Mollusk Mage I have now. Uh, sure, let's upgrade the Mollusk Mage. I mean, why not? This is the final place I could spend my money at, so... Uh, we have duplicating a card. And we have the Merchant of Trinkets. I actually should have checked that first. A root split mask. Apply root to enemy units when they enter the floor below the pyre room. When a card is with consumers played, deal free damage to the front enemy units. I have one consume. When you draw a card, its cost is randomized to zero and free. Draw plus three each turn. <laughs> okay, no. That's interesting, but I have way too much card draw already. This is not super useful. Uh, this, I mean, if, I, if I'm not going to do anything else, I have one consume card. So it is at least something, and I don't really... Um, it's this one here. And that one, a two cards, actually. You know, uh, other than that, I don't really have anything else I want to buy. Um, I don't want to purge any more cards, plus I can still purge one anyway. So yeah, let's just get this thing. Alright, do I want to purge anything? Do I want to purge one more restore? Let's do it. I draw the entire deck every turn anyway. It's kind of ridiculous. But let's get rid of it. Alright, final boss time, boys. Wait. Oh, I haven't duplicated my card yet, yes. Uh, do I want to duplicate Graft or another damage one? I think probably another Helical Crystallis is probably not a bad idea. Or another Icy Silifet? No, I don't think so. 
I don't think so. Yeah, let's get one more of these. Alright, let's do it. Final boss time. Last time we had the same final boss, um, which became a problem because of the sap thing. But hopefully we have enough damage to actually still do spell weakness on him when he arrives. And we'll be okay. Alright. Holy fuck Aroni. Oh, that's a lot of damage right away. Uh, okay, that one would die to the Husk Hermit. Husk Hermit take 9, uh, 27, 36 damage. It would survive. Well, it would actually take 9 less from that one. Can I do anything else, though? Uh, I draw some more cards. I might be able to kill this thing, but it's unlikely. But let's go. It's not exactly the cards I wanted. Um, whenever a unit on the floor dies, okay, so we probably just want to cast the Helical Crystallis just to do some damage to him. It's free. And this thing as well. Let's get rid of something. Okay, that's not bad. Let's get rid of the Restorer. No, let's get rid of this thing, so there's nothing. Then I'm gonna put... Oh shit, are you not the multi... Oh no! This is not the... Oh no, it is the multi-strike one. Never mind, yeah, we're good. We have two multi-strike ones, I forgot about that. Oof, I actually maybe shouldn't have put you there, because you might... Well, no, we'll draw a tank, surely. Oh my god, you're still an Ultra Speed, or... Super Ultra, whatever the fuck it's called. Okay. Um... I need to heal this thing pretty badly. Oof, we can already put this one down. Oh boy, that would be insane. I need to heal you pretty badly though. Oh no, we're sapped more. Damn, this is what I hate. This fucking sapping is really ruining me here. Alright, well this is free, so let's get an extra heal on you. Uh, he's not doing any damage, so yeah, we're not killing any of these things here. If I put you down, you have... Uh, you have... Sweep, but not quick, but I can give him quick. Okay, so we can save all the things down there. Alright, that's the, that's what we'll do then. We'll put you down. And then we'll give you quick. And then that will save him. Alright. Uh, and I want to kill this thing off. Is a single sting enough? No, it definitely isn't. Wait, he has spell weakness. Oh, he has 21 armor. Right, that's why. Um, this would be enough as well. So I don't have to use my helical Chrysalis on him. But I do need one mana for that. So I can also put a boy down. Holy shit. Donkey, when do you start getting... When you do start getting cooler looking monsters like the bad enemies, especially the bosses. When do you start getting cooler looking monsters? Um, maybe when we get a new faction unlocked? Okay, so I want to kill this thing. But that's enough. But I don't want to play that first. I think we're just going to do this for some extra damage. It's free. So no reason not to. No reason not to, even. Stings as well. Then I can play one... No, I can't play any monsters if we want to kill this right now, which I do. So, yeah, that kind of sucks, because I have three things I can put down. But, oh well. I'm sure I'll draw most of them again next turn because of all the crazy drawing I have. Alright, please give me my uh, explosive thing now. No, you son of a bitch, the sap! You still have quick, so you still kill those ones before they do anything. Thank fuck for that. I have my explosion, which is nice. And I might be able to kill that one off as well. It's going to get crazy amounts of armor because of all the killing, but if we can kill it anyway, that'll be alright. You die from something. If I put this guy here, then I might be able to kill it with just a sting. Because, right, yeah, that would actually be enough, funny enough. Um, this many carts is so fucking confusing, my guy. Uh, I don't know if I even want to use that. I can just kill this with a helic this thing. It's free, so again, why not? Um, Alright, I want to put down some actual dudes now. So let's put you down, and then a sting will do enough to kill this thing off. Then I want to put down you. You as well, for sure. I don't know, I don't even know if I want to stock or stock, stack everything on the bottom, because that is, again, the same thing that happened last time. I have too much of this 
sapping, and when he arrives, all the sapping makes it so I don't do any damage to him, which means that I then... Uh, I can't, I can't do my spell weakness on him, on him, and we just get ruined. It really sucks. I want to do this so then they die, and then he takes some more spell weakness now from her. That's two more spell weakness, which is nice. Uh, let's do a bit of a yule. And then, yeah, I think we're just going to put you down. Actually, I have enough to put another one down. No, I don't, because I just played that. That's stupid. So I... I don't want to do this stings on him, because that'll, that'll waste damage. I don't want to use that, so I want to use him here, just to get more card draw next turn, but that's all I care about. Right, so more spell weakness attached, but yeah, we just keep getting more sets. Uh, Alright. Find the big boss. Yes, we are. Hopefully we'll be okay in the end. The sapping, though, like, Rodo's not doing any damage right now. It sucks so much. Uh, do you have quick? Yes, you do. Okay, so you're killing that before it does anything in return. So many fucking cards! Alright, if I sting this... Then I could do a Helical Chrysalis on this just to get a bunch of damage on it. It's 42... 80, 84 times 6. That's not anywhere near what we need yet, though. I think we're just gonna spam spells down here just to do more damage. I wanna do some healing. Do I have my big heal here? No. Restoration detonation, there it is. Um I think we're just gonna sting this though, just so it doesn't do any damage to him. And now you will add another one spell weakness there, which is okay. So let's start doing this here, I think. There's my restoration detonation, perfect. I should have actually waited with that. It's okay. Actually, it's not okay now. Oh, it is okay, because now you're dead. Um, I could put you down, just for no real reason, other than just get you in there. Don't want to sting here. I want to do it elsewhere. And then that's pointless. Oh, actually, the encant's nice. All right. All right. I think the problem against him is that I'm stacking too much. I don't want to stack against him because then the spell weakness ruins me, or the sap ruins me even. Okay. So now, kill that one with sting, but I don't have to. Let's start spamming these things down here. <laughs> Fuck you know. Uh, I want to use the engraft just to get it. Extra mana. Not that I really need it. Kill that one off, because why not? Then you can do your 5 damage to him. You never know. Might make the difference. Uh, this is a big heal. You know what? That would actually be a lot of damage right now. Yeah. I get rid of all the spell weakness, but I think that might have been worth doing. I hope it was. Um... Now I might as well use the stings there, right? Unless I want to use them here, which seems irrelevant. So yeah, let's just pop them here. Start putting some damage on him, why not? And then the heal is going to go on you. And then this, once again, I kind of wasted. Yeah, whatever. So many cards, yeah, it's in insane. The card draw isn't everything. Oh boy. Alright, how much do I need here? One sting is almost enough already. Uh, that's definitely enough and a good heal. 700 damage. What a waste. Let's spam these ones here again. Then four stings is enough to kill that. Oh, I just use one of these ones. Alright, we have two more spell weakness we're popping on there, which isn't a whole lot. I could put her down there, but she's, he, he's gonna sap us all again, isn't he? Oh god. You have no spell weakness right now, so I'm not worried about just spamming all the spells on you. And that one as well. Start doing as much damage as humanly possible. Humanely possible. Uh, I could just heal you for 10. I don't really see why that would be bad. 
I was kind of thinking that the next wave might be the final wave, at which point I probably wouldn't mind her down there, because then they're not sapped. But no, let's just do that. Two spell weakness. Okay, it's not the final wave yet. He won't sap bottom one again. He saps at the beginning of your turn. I never actually paid attention. Yeah, yeah, I know that, but does he go up? Like, does he that one, that one, that one, or is it random? I actually didn't really pay attention to that. I guess it is not random. He just goes up one turn every time, and then, like, he goes back down, goes there again, back down again, there again. I wonder if that's the way it works, because if it is, I really fucked up. Um, SAP sap. Okay. This thing is not really a worry, but single sting will get rid of it. A little sting. Start murdering these things. Wait, are you getting armor from... I'll take 30 damage before losing health. Oh, no, no, it's not getting anything. Never mind. I thought, it was, I thought it just gained armor equal to the damage I did. I was like, wait, let's waste a spell on you. See ya. You're gonna die automatically, so no need to worry about that. Might as well kill you then. Don't want to waste anything on that, because that actually has spell weakness now. Restoration detonation would be actually really insane. But, again, I can't really do anything about that. Uh, I think I want to start stacking then, don't I? You didn't go to the top level until you put something there. Hmm. Hmm. Let's get rid of this then. Sting for the extra card draw, and then we'll do a final heal. Are you full health? Yeah, you are. All right, here you go. Okay. Final wave yet, you little bitch. Add some more spell weakness. There we go. All right, final wave. Can we fucking do this this time? I don't know. I don't really well know, do I? Um... Kill these enemies off. Okay, I want to sting this one first and then do that. Just for a little bit extra damage. Gets rid of the spell weakness, of course, but... Uh, restoration detonation just to get you healed up. Do we start stacking up now? Do we still Are we still sapped? Uh, I think we start stacking now. Yes, we do. We definitely do. So you're coming down. Which will allow us to do more spell weakness on him. And then I think next turn we just kill him. I think we have it this time. Draw as many cards as humanly possible. Uh, let's remove that. Let's do some more card draw. Alright. So we're not going to kill him this turn. But we should have enough spell weakness on him, I think. He's already got seven. Yeah. Okay. Next turn we're good. All we need is one spell. 19, yeah, we're good. Alright, we did it. Whew. And seal it down. Alright. Got him. Another win. This will be this this we should have had this win last time, to be fair. But it didn't happen. Now I think I'm gonna go for uh a run with red, because that's the only main faction I haven't won with yet. But that's because I only played them once, and that was at the tutorial thingy. 23 spell weakness, yeah, it's good. Add dead weight to your starting deck. What is dead weight? Ah, by winning a run with these cards, you've unlocked their golden card frames. Tephis. Oh, it's okay, so it's just all the cards we had. Alright, cool. It's kind of weird, because I noticed this earlier when I was looking at those. Because I have one win already before this. And I didn't have any gold cards unlocked for those, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know why not. Harness the Titan. Enhance all spells in your hand with plus five magic power. That's not terrible. I like that. Offering monument. And can draw one and this unit gets minus five damage. Or minus five health. Okay, so you can draw like eight cards from it. Unless you keep healing it, I guess. But yeah, it's not too bad. Although we had a ton of card draw already from different ways. 
A Bramble Lash. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to 10% or 10 times the amount of spikes on friendly units. Holy. That sounds like it could be interesting. Two cost though. Sting spells get plus 10 magic power and piercing. Fucking hell, that's the second sting based artifact, isn't it? The other one gets 20, plus 20 uh, magic power. If you get both of them, fucking 35 and piercing goes straight for armor. Interesting. Alright, our new win streak is one. See, we already had one win. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, now it's unlocking the ones. No, hold on. Uh, Awoken. Is this golden framed? It looks golden, but is that the frame or is that just... No, because I won with... Shit, I can't remember. Because uh... I have won with this faction before and I'm pretty sure I had this card in it at that time as well. So yeah, I, I didn't get golden cards for the cards I used at the time. Weirdly, but oh well. Uh, anyway. So... Good shit, we gotta win with them. Uh, what else? We need to summon double the units we've summoned so far to get Umbra unlocked, and we need to do a ton more killing to get Melting unlocked, so, or Melting Remnant even. Cool, uh, that's our card. I think we're, yeah, we're gonna play as uh, Red this next round, I think. Um, and that's it. Let's do it. So, highest damage dealt with a spell, 1680, the previous best was 1435. Good to know. Is that my best score? I'm pretty sure it's very similar to the last score. Let me get to the main menu and have a look real quick. Logbook. Never had a wind donkey you were dreaming. Except, what is this then? Awoken Hellhorn victory. Anyway. Uh, or maybe it's when you, like, you don't get it for the covenant, like if you don't use covenant rank or something? I have no idea. Anyway, what was I gonna check? Uh, not this. What was I, what was I gonna check? Oh, I've forgotten. I can't remember now. Stupid idiots. Alright, fine, whatever. Let's do a new run. This time we're gonna go red. Elhorn, Valley the Aggressive Demons of the Scorch Plains, Overwhelm Seraph of Imps and Damaging Warriors. What are we gonna use as our. I think we're gonna go green again as our tanks, right? Green have some really solid tanks, and then Hellhorn is gonna be our damage. Let me check quickly, hold on. Because I. The person I watched. Uh, did a run with Hellhorns, with like going Imps basically. But I can't remember what his uh, second plan was. Let's have a look. This is not a computer game. This is a oh, I'm watching some random ad. That's great. I'm not using Adblock because I'm a YouTuber and I'd be fucking crazy if I did that. Uh, oh, it's not fucking. He doesn't show it at the beginning. Dickhead, what the fuck? Oh my god, I don't see any... Oh, he's using... Okay, he's using uh, this one. Stitching Guard as a secondary. No, it wasn't a, It wasn't the tutorial that I won. I actually lost the tutorial one. It wasn't really a tutorial, it was just a really difficult one. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, I, I think we're gonna go for Awoken. I like Awoken. As, a, as tanky units, I think. So... Our next... Yeah, Covenant Rank 2. Add Dead Way to your starting deck. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure it's really bad. So let's go. Hmm. Seems... Rather shit. Vent. Deal 2x damage to enemy units. So that's however much Ember I have. And the wild, we get two of those as well. Wildwood Sap, Consume, Apply, Regen, fa regen 5. Eh, not really good in a deck that's all about damage, I think. But and an impressive. Sacrifice Imp, deal 50 damage to the front enemy units. Okay, very nice. And then Dead Weight is unplayable and unpurgeable. But if we have a card that lets us rotate cards, then that's pretty good, I guess. Which I think, well, we had one of those that last run, which was the Stygian Guard card, so I guess I can't use that now. Uh, okay. Well, this will be interesting. Let's see what our uh, thing is. Volatile Gauge. When you draw a card, it costs a randomized between 0 and 3. Plus, draw plus 3 each turn. Or a power gets 40 HP. Do I have any expensive cards right now? No. Everything would be... Like... Like... 0.5 increase in cost by the... Like, ran so far. So, let's not take that. Take the extra health, which is pretty shit. 
So, we have a choice to slay, we get 10 extra damage, which I'm pretty sure carries over to next round, so if you kill a bunch of shit, it'll just be a super strong guy late game. Or Hornbreaker, or um, this one, which gives us armor 5, and then revenge, which is triggers when damaged, gains plus 1 rate, so you want him, to, he would be your tank, basically. Uh, no, I kind of like going for this, sounds fun. The imp puns are criminal. Because of imp plosion. It was indeed quite terrible. Red usually is damage color. Yeah, I like the spell stuff, but... Uh, Non-boss unit gets 4 damage. We get a unit draft. What do we have? We have Disciplined Soldier and Prince of Light. Slay, gain damage shield. Uh, yeah, let's, just fucking, let's do it. I want more units. More units, please. Alright, so we can kill that one right away. Take 7 damage on him, he dies instantly, so we can't currently do that. I can tank with the strain, Train Steward. Uh, I do 18 damage, I wouldn't be able to slay it, so I don't actually do anything, really, but yeah, sure. Uh, I could try and heal. Oh, this is a golden frame card now, that's pretty cool. Or I can just do 2 damage, sure. Fuck yeah. Sweet. Okay, I need to kill that. Uh, okay, this is really bad. Oh, I need a, I need a torch now. Oh no. I can do this. I guess I can use that last and I'll kill that off and then... Yeah, that'll save me, I guess. Um, restoring is useless, even twice. Implosion doesn't do anything. I have, any, I have no fucking imps, you stupid idiot. Um, so I guess we're gonna put him down. Oh no, we want to put him here. Yeah, we want to get that money. And then we literally, <laughs> if we restoring is completely pointless. So we're just gonna do this. Just for more damage on that. Extra two damage on him. Oh boy. It's always shit in the beginning, though. To be fair, like I'm not, I'm not worried about this. There's our dead weight. Lovely. Oh, it's uh, okay. Um, we didn't slay anything yet, and he's not going to slay anything next turn either, is he? So this is going to be real bad. Uh, oh boy. I want some train stewards to tank for him, so let's put one there. And then if you got, if I put two of them here, they'll actually kill that one. So that seems okay, I guess. And then I'll actually put the Wildwood Sap on you, so you might heal up before the boss arrives. What is the boss anyway? What damage does he do? Can't remember. Is there a way to find out? Limbo. No. I don't think so. Oh, here. Wait. No, that's not it either. Well, whatever. Um, I can't really do much else, so I can do it. I can do two damage to this guy. Seems pointless. Let's just heal this guy. Oh, here, zero damage. Nice one. Alright. Uh, yep, this is really bad. Okay. I understand now. Well, I can certainly start by killing you off, which will then save him an extra turn so I can do more damage with him. A lot more damage, in fact. If I use this, we actually win. Okay, never mind. That went fucking splendidly. Uh, here's two damage on you, you little bastard. Alright. And I think that means he gets to slay it. Which means I actually get an extra 10 damage on him, which is nice. That regen was actually so good there, holy fuck. Alright. That worked out quite well. Have you considered playing Mafia 1 in one sitting, or is it too long? I actually don't know how long it is, but once it's out, the definitive edition, I will probably consider that, yeah. Vent is fucking terrible, I don't want that. Uh, I do want Welder Helper, because it's an imp, and I guess we're going for kind of imp builds. At least that's the plan. Uh, send a unit, no, I wanna get the Welder Helper. Sting! Enhance the unit plus three, plus three. Is that good? Is that good? I don't think it is. Sting is always nice, I guess. I mean, not always, but it's okay. Uh, do I want any of these? It doesn't really fit our deck, does it? That's the problem I have with it, I suppose. I need something that can discard a different card. Um, 
Vine grass could actually be okay, I guess, but... When are you going to do the speedrun Total War campaigns? Probably never. Well, I'm not really... I was, it's not like I was speedrunning Mafia 2, I was just playing it. And then, you know, I wanted to finish it, and it's about a 10-hour game. I wasn't, like, trying to finish it fast or something, I was just playing it normally. As um, shown by that one mission, or one chapter, where I decided to... Where the challenge... I was challenged to not crash, and I spent fucking ages driving really slowly. I feel like these cars don't fit, fit in our deck. Even the Sting doesn't really fit in our deck, does it? What does... What do we even want in here? We want, like, strong minions, but we do want some spells, I'm assuming. I don't fucking know, my guy. Um, I'll take the 10 bucks, fuck it. I don't know, maybe that was incorrect. Okay. Um, so yeah, we want, we want damage. Horned Warrior is not terrible. The Hermit's pretty good. We could make him a bit of a tank again, although he is supposed to be kind of DPS. I just like Husk Hermit. It seems really strong against like weak minions anyway. The quick animus of speed is okay, but I think I'd rather have the Horned Warrior and give it speed or something. Although, it's only 5 damage less than 2 or 1 less health. It's not that bad for something that kills something before, but I think quick is best on sweep. <sighs> I don't even know. I think we're gonna go for Husk Hermit first. What is my accent? It's whatever you want to make of it. Yeah, I'm Dutch, if that's what you're asking. Uh, so we can get upgrade for units and an Awoken Banner or money and magic. We definitely want unit upgrades, so we're gonna go here. Let's go to unit first, see if I can upgrade that. Another House Kermit. Foreign Hollow is the Rejuvenate gain spikes. Um, I think I want another House Kermit. And then let's upgrade. Our house Kermit. So is that? Hold on. Is that the only unit we can actually upgrade? Well, yeah. Besides the train stewards, I don't want to really upgrade the imps. So rage seven is pretty shit. Plus ten damage is pretty good on the house Kermit, So we'll do that. Now I really want to have a quick. That'd be good. I think we're actually going to reroll here. Pretty shit rolls to be honest. Oh boy. All right. Well, it's expensive, but a thirteen thirty with quick is not bad. I think. Now I want to get rid of this one. Well, there goes all my money. These are some low rolls, unfortunately. Uh, that's all I got. Let's go. How about Saints Row? Oh, man. If Saints Row 1 was on PC... I, I was actually considering it recently, because Saints Row 3 is be, uh, getting a... Um, definitive Edition as well. And I was like, oh, please, just bring Saints Row 1 to PC. Because I played Saints Row 2, like, I don't know, four or five times... I love that game. I think I even have a Let's Play on my channel of it. And if I don't, I Let's Play it on my older channels. I know that much. I Let's Play it so many times. Let me see if I have Saints Row on this one as well. I think I do. Uh, no, I did make a video on it, but I did, I did do a Let's Play of it in, on an older channel. I used to get so many requests for pe from people to do it again on this uh, channel as well. But uh, And I played Saints Row 3 once, and then all the other ones after that, they all became too crazy for me. I didn't like it that much. Spikes free. Ah, it's fucking annoying because we have this guy is like our main guy right now. I think I don't want spikes free, honestly. Let's not do that. We're minion based, we can't handle that. Oh boy. Well, that's good. Uh, oh man. Kind of annoying actually because that means he doesn't get the slay. Also, I guess it didn't matter. Like, it doesn't stack up. Over, over the course of this. Okay, well, that's good to know. Uh, I'm still gonna put you down here. Hellhorns, rally to me! And I could use this to kill them all, but it seems pointless since we already have the kill, but sure! Alright. Okay, I need to deal with that. Uh, a cheeky torch can handle that. You can kill all these three, no problem. I'm glad I didn't go for spikes, because he would have been ruined by now already. Uh, I guess I could... No, I can't put you here. Put you up here. I could put the Welder Helper over here, why not? Extra armor on our guy. And then we just torch this one. 
You're never saying anything about The Last of Us? I did. It's not on PC. I can't play it. That's it already. Okay. Uh, let's put a train steward down. And let's put some consume regen on you. Consume regen, what the fuck? And then I guess I'll put you there. Because why not? He's almost dead as it is right now. Uh, we actually can't do anything about that, can we? I should have put the imp there, so he doesn't take... So he, he tanks a, uh, a hit for the prince. Yeah, I definitely should have. Uh, yeah, we just torch this guy a little bit then. And this one regen doesn't make a difference. But... All right. Easy. Come on, fledgling imp. Apply rage free to friendly units. Ugh. It's like the worst imp, I feel like. Uh, piercing, deal 5 damage. It's terrible, or a send a unit. I mean, we want imps. I want that there's a card that is like a 10 cost or something, but it's, it's reduced by 3 cost for every imp you have in the field. And that would be... You know, that's what you want imps for, but if I don't know if I'm ever going to get that card, and if I keep going for more imps, then that se seems a bit... shit. Uh, I don't like Ascend a unit that much. I don't know why I don't like it, but I don't... I, I don't know. I'm going to go for Fledgling Imp, even though it's like the worst one. Restoration Detonation is not bad, because we do have quite a bit of healing to do. Um, yep, I'll take that. Nice golden card as well. Magic and Hellhorns, Artifact and Heal. Yeah, let's go for Hellhorn. I do want the Artifact, but I need something good here. A 4 mana 50-50. Or a Branded Warrior, Rage 4, Slay, apply free rage to friendly units. I don't know. Could be a good way to like, keep buffing your own guys if he keeps killing shit, but... I need to actually be able to kill shit with him is the problem. This sounds fun, a 4 mana 50-50, but I don't have 4 mana, so that's kind of problematic as it stands right now. And I have no way of getting 4 mana except if I want to take the format, like the buff on mana, but I think I want to go for the actual pip thing, so I guess I'll take Brand of Warrior. Pretty shit, if I do say so myself. What do we got here? We only have 110 gold. Do I have anything I want to reduce in costs? Restoration, Detonation, maybe, so I can always heal. There's not really anything else I can do, to be honest. Magic Power as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll buff this up to be pretty good. Why not? So we have a big heal that's free every, bunch of, every couple of turns. Uh, Rerolling makes me broke, so I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to purge either, really. Oh, I guess maybe I'll purge one. Let's see what we got here. Oh, hello. The historian makes his way towards the train in an unusual carriage. Hellborn, how fortunate am I that our travels have finally crossed paths. I am recording the events of the Armageddon for pos posterity. Possibly futile, I know, but I shall make a fortune if you do somehow succeed. So would you characterize yourself as honest, aggressive, or stealthy? Spends all your remaining ember... Okay, so this is a one mana, or a one time use gain, well, currently up to 90 gold. Uh, your pyre gets one damage for every ten gold you have. Uh, okay, that seems pretty shit. Or deal two damage to an enemy unit, slay fifty gold. It seems pretty easy to get sixty gold with this one, which is already better than that. So let's take honest. Interesting indeed, and quite uncharacteristic of Hellborn, though by no means unwelcome. Perhaps those in good intentions will carry us past these dark times. Here's something for your assistance. Best of luck to the battles ahead. See you later, friend. Bye, Liam. It's funny how you hate Ascend, but I'm pretty sure you wanted and or needed it on your first video. Maybe. Uh, let's purge a card. What do I want? Purge a gift of gratitude. Uh, should be an achievement for that. What do I want to purge? A train steward for sure. I definitely don't want as many train stewards. I want to purge the fence as well. I have so many shit to purge, to be honest. These things aren't even that good either, although they kind of worked really well before, but... 
That was just a coincidence. Alright, first proper boss. Let's do it. The slay one didn't have purge. Oh, fuck. How much... How, what was the cost on it, though? Oh, boy. I guess I should have taken that one. That's like crazy gold grinding. Alright, this guy will... No, it's not the fast one. Damn. I can take 90 gold right away as well. Not even that crazy, because I can't do anything about this, and I can't really do anything about that, unless I just want to tank the damage, but it seems pretty bad. That'd be 20 damage for no real reason. Um, I want to place him down, but he's free. But I can't really do that, because I can't put him anywhere. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take 90 gold right now, honestly. Because I can't really do a whole lot. I could put could have placed them both down here, but nah, I'm good. It'll be a rough one, but... Hell is no more. Alright, there you go. This is the one I wanted. Go to the one that I want. And then... You can go there. Behind him. No, but then I can't put my boss guy here anymore. This is why I need more space. But if I put you up, you'll just die. Yeah, no, I'll put you here anyway. Fuck it. I can always... No, I can't. I was gonna say, I can always descend, but no. I cannot. Uh, I should probably start killing these guys. So, this will do. See ya. It's actually pretty useful for car for situations like that, but... Still. Whatever, dude. I can put this little boy down here, I suppose. That's not bad. I can add... Yeah, if I didn't give him rage, well, that's actually not too bad. Um, I could even also make him explode so I kill a dude off, which is not terrible. Boom. But no. Uh, apply rage... Oh, right, I could have done that as well. I didn't even realize I had that one. Ooh. I could put this guy here and then put the fledgling hit behind it and then it kills that thing off. Is that really necessary, or do I just take the ten, 2 damage on that? I think I just take the 2 damage is the thing. Uh, I could heal you for 2, which is okay. I mean, I don't really have anything else I can do, so yeah, let's just heal you for 2, deal 10 damage, and then that one dies. You kill it? I think you do, which gains me more rage, which is good. Um, I No, sacrificing is terrible. I could put you down here anyway. It'll take 2 damage, doesn't really matter. You know what, yeah, let's just do this, fuck it. And then that will actually kill it. Perfect fucking combo. Combo Wombo, boys. There you go. That's actually pretty nice. I like that combo. Uh, Alright, we kill everything on the first attack, so that's all good. That's kind of rough. I have this little torch, though. So that's all good. You gotta heal. Uh, no one else needs healing, so let's put this on you. So you don't take any damage, or you heal it back up again. And then we'll not do anything, because I have no Amber. We need to get somehow sweep on him, and then he just kills a bunch. Or sweep and quick, and then he kills everything, and everything else gets rage. It'd be insane. Uh, all right, this kills that first, so that's all fine. I think we're gonna pop him. So that's gonna get to the top floor. There's nothing I can do about it. This sweep won't do anything about it. I'll just put you here, and then I'll just do this. And then he gets to kill that. And then we get some more rage. And now that rage is gonna help me murder this guy, hopefully. Oh, my boss guy. <laughs> right, he's back. Um, hmm. Let's put this on you. That'll definitely help. And then we'll put the restore on you as well. And then my... <laughs> he's gonna have to be on the top, I'm afraid. And I guess you can uh, go there to protect him. I don't even know if we're going to make it, because we're only doing 220 to him right now. I mean, he, he, he'll die to the pyre, if anything, but still. Uh, he's taking 34 right now, oh boy. Does this make any difference? No. Well. Pretty shit. You can't fit there. Alright, well. Hey, he'll just have to die to the fire. 
Oh, fireball Toby. Have a good one, dude. If I could survive for a while here, I could do a lot more damage, but I can't. So, just do the damage I can. That was actually pointless. Could have just vent it right away. Alright, well, he's gonna do a bunch of damage to our fire, but it's okay. Actually, he's gonna do a lot more than I was thinking it would. It's okay. Have a good test, Toby. Hope you do alright. Consume double armor on a unit, impolates. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to 15 times the number of imp units in your deck. Okay, so yeah, it's just like 15, 30, 45, 60, etc. Which right now is 30 damage for one mana. It's not terrible. Uh, if we keep going for more imps, then this is actually quite good. Maybe we can even give it. Um, if we can give it holdover, and it ends up in my hand every single turn, that's pretty decent. Once we have more aims. I think it's better than anything else here anyway, so... Another one of those. Awoken Hollow is not bad. Uh, gain 60 max health. We have... I guess I can put, you know, Consume Heals on him. That's not bad. Uh, the foreign hollow spikes. Nah, I think we need that, but I'm, I don't like our deck so far at all. I'm not. I just don't really like this kind of minion-based stuff. I guess maybe I'm not getting the right cards. I think one light of seraph. Get some more space. All right. I want more hellboard. I really want that imp card that makes imps or the. the Comes cheaper with the more imps you have. Vortex is really good because I want to get rid of some stuff. The Merchant of Steel is good. Otherwise, it's duplicating. Do I have anything I really want to duplicate right now? I don't think I have anything that's properly upgraded yet except for Restoration Detonation, which I really don't want to have two of, to be honest. So, no, we'll go this way. Let's get a card first. A unit. Uh, this fucking Demon Fiend just keeps popping up. I'll take another Branded Warrior. And then I'm going to remove some cards, which will have to be. More train stewards for sure. And then let's see what I can buy here. Upgrading to a plus one, plus 15, plus 40. Do I have anything that wants to be big or bigger? I guess an imp wouldn't be that crazy. Making an imp actually somewhat useful. Is there one that's like specifically really good? The Wild Harper is just a 1-1 one, one that does something. The Fleshling Imp is just a 1-1 one, one that does something else. Yeah, it's not really that relevant. Um, I want these guys to be really strong. I want them to have sweep or quick. Probably sweep and quick, really. Um, 25 HP. I don't even know. I don't even ruddy well know. I honestly don't. I don't know what to do with this deck. I don't. It just doesn't. It, this doesn't feel right to me. Put it on there. Spikes. Nah. I don't want large stone. I think. Let's re-roll and hope for something better. I don't want endless. Some damage. Um, nah. I'm, I think I'm gonna hold out and hope that I get sweep and and quick attack on these guys, or at least sweep. But preferably quick attack as well, because otherwise the husk hermit just kills everything. Which, to be fair, it might do anyway, because it's in the fr it's in the front. So I I'm assuming it attacks first anyway. Um, unless I put them on different rows, but so maybe I, I give him sweep and then higher damage. So I think that's probably correct. So let's do this, and then I can give that one to that one. It's still 15 damage, I guess, and then we hope for sweep on both of them. Or do I give this to something else? I guess on that with sweep, that's not bad. The other one is 13 damage because I gave it plus 10, and then it has quick. So yeah, this is all right. I'll give that that one. Okay, and we're I can purge one more card. Do I want to? I think I'm gonna hold off for now. And then let's upgrade our champion. We can get slay plus 20. The slay has not really been that useful yet. Multi strike. Uh. Well, funny enough, multi-strike means he does the same exact damage, except I don't get as much from slaying. So, although I guess it it's, it could kill two enemies in one turn, depending on what he attacks. So I suppose that's, you know, but then again, this has slay 20. So you get 20 from that. If you kill one with this thing, you get 20 as well. So yeah, this is just better, isn't it? 
Well, not necessarily. There, there are some cases where it's better to have multi-strike, but I think not in combination with the slay deal or gain t 10 damage. Uh, restore our health and then move up the floor. That's fine, I think. Triggers when you cast a spell on this floor gains 10 armor. Okay, we don't have any spells, so that should be okay. Let's see. Fire is a little bit low already, unfortunately. Okay, these 10 damage. We have our big boy here, so that's good. Uh, so we have enough space to put all three of these here, so that's perfect. And we'll put you there. Do we put you in front or behind? I guess I'd want to attack with hit. No, there's a there's a benefit to both of these guys getting kills, to be honest. <sighs> I don't fucking know. Let's put you um, in the back. Because then if he gets a kill first, then he gets at least a rage, which is also increased damage, so I guess I can't complain. This is just a 1 mana 116 if I put him here by himself, so I'm not going to actually play that right now. He gains full health back, which is very annoying. Oof, that's really annoying as well. I can torch. No, I can't. Oh, that's rough. I can't even kill that. Um, can I do anything useful here? <laughs> Not really. I can restore this thing twice. That's about all I got. The torch doesn't do anything. I can place this guy down, but he won't do anything. He'll just take damage and then die. or And then this guy will just heal up again, so there's no real reason to do that. So yeah, just heal... The torch, this thing is gonna die anyway, so it's pointless. I can't torch that, it's given 10 extra armor for no reason. Yeah, it's not good. That one's gonna heal back to full again as well. But that's what we signed up for, so I can't complain too much. Again, the sweep, I could put him down, but there's just no reason to do so. Um. Put him down anyway, because I don't know what else to fucking do here. Alright, lovely. I don't think I've drawn any of the good minions. Feels bad, man. That one's gonna do some damage as well. They probably all are. Honestly, they're all gonna just get to the top. Honestly, I'm, I might lose here. I didn't even consider this, but I actually think I'm gonna lose. This is gonna do five damage. It takes... No. I can survive this one, but I can't survive that one. My pyre is actually going... Oh no, it's 73. Oh, never mind, I'm, I'm okay. I thought I had 30 health for a second, I misread that. Uh, oh my fucking god, dude, this is ridiculous. I just gave that one 10 armor for no reason. Nice one. With a train steward up here for no real reason other than... I No, there's literally no reason. It was dumb. This deck sucks. There's five factions. I shouldn't have given them the gain max health again. I was hoping I could kill them, but they have... I'm getting all the high health ones. Oh boy. This is good, actually. Finally, we can kill something. Thank fuck for that, because we are literally very close to dying here now. Uh, oh my fucking god. Put that on there. I should put it on here. I don't even know anymore, man. Survive, you son of a bitch. Survive. Completely pointless to play that, but whatever. I honestly don't know if we can even win this. I think we actually are just gonna lose to the boss in this case. Um, no, that doesn't make a difference. Well, I guess we'll find out. One hundred eighty-one damage. This is the first time I've drawn that. That that was actually enough. Wow. Okay. Well, we're st we're still alive, but we won't be for long at this rate. Winged 
indulgent. Oh, that one. Ugh. I guess, sure. Inferno, piercing, deal 100 damage to friendly and enemy units. That seems really bad. Just kill my own shit. Impressive. We don't have that many. Okay, return a random consumed spell to your hand. Uh, we have like a couple consumed spells, but that's just, I don't know if I want more of those, to be honest. It seems pretty meh. It's an imp, which I guess, again, is good if we were to draw that, or get that card that is cheaper with the more imps you have, but... Impressive is pretty shit. I don't even want the impressive I have right now, I feel like. I've never used it yet. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't want any of this, but I guess I'll get that in the hopes that I draw that. One card. Uh, restore 25 HP, you draw two cards next turn, draw one each turn, restore 30 health, apply for regen. Uh, fucking, I don't, I don't know, I fucking, I don't know. I feel like I'm just not getting any kind of synergy here. I actually need the fucking HP at this point, but I can't focus on that. I'm gonna go this way and hope I can upgrade some more boys. Oh, is this the shitty, like, terrible thing? Oh, no, 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 this is different. No, it's it's alright, I guess. This gets lets me get rid of a card from my hand, or my deck. Uh, alright. Do I just do it on a last train steward again? Buff that last train steward up so he's actually somewhat useful. Or do I want to remove a spell from my deck? The torches are pretty trash. The vent is pretty trash. You know what? The vent could actually be quite good if I had this 20 damage to it. Then it'll be like a one-time, actually good AOE. Not that it's even really necessary, but... Um, oh yeah, this card gets better with more imps I have as well, so it actually that was a reason to get that other imp. Yeah, I'll get rid of a vent, I don't like the vent that much. This actually makes it a... Um, if I have three mana, it's a 66 AOE damage. Sorry. Alright, what do we have? Multi-strike, rage, health. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Multi-strike on the brand of the warrior. I'd rather have sweep, but multi-strike is okay as well, I guess. Um, don't want this 25 HP on anything. Not really. I guess I'll get multi-strike <laughs> on this guy. Then he's a... Uh, he does 40 damage. There's a good chance he'll kill something and then get... Like, as long as... if Once I can get these branded warriors going, they might actually be alright, because I can start doing more and more and more damage on the bottom row. Because, you know, the more they kill, the more rage I get, and the more I kill. You know, it's like a... You know, once it starts going, it could be pretty good. But I actually need to get to the point where it does something. 25 HP seems pretty shit. Honestly. On any of these things. I mean, in Dusk, Kermit, nah, I don't, I don't fucking want that. I don't want any here either. Nah, let's, let's re-roll, see if I can get something better. 10 damage is probably okay on the Branded Warrior. We're on the Husk Kermit. Then he doesn't have Quick, but he does have 18 damage sweep, which is not bad. But I only really need one of those. Which I keep, I keep forgetting about that. I just need one on the bottom floor to kill all the... the shitty AoE stuff, or like all the weak units off, and then there's only like ever one enemy that goes up. It's usually not more than one enemy that goes up, because we already have one of these guys, so we don't need one on the second floor, so... Yeah, let's just give extra damage to you. I don't even really want this guy, for that reason. So yeah, I'll give it to you. Like this, that other tank is way better on the second floor. Spikes seems irrelevant, so let's get out of here. What does Rage do? Rage... Every Rage increases your damage by two, but it goes... It You also lose one Rage per turn. So, if you have 10 rage, then your units do 20 more damage, but then the next turn it's only 18, 16, 14, unless you increase rage again, of course. But that's why it's good, if I can get some kills, it, whenever it slays, it gives all units rage on that row. So then, it'll just kill more and more and more, so I need to get that train going, but... So far, I haven't been able to actually... I've only, it's only gone off once. Enemy units will appear on each floor. Ugh, my power being this low, I don't think I can take that. That sucks. No, I don't want to risk that. I could just lose on turn one because I don't have enough stuff to deal with it. If I draw both my husk boys, which I didn't, so I'm glad I didn't do that. Uh, Alright, do want you on the bottom. I want you 
Yeah, and then we want the Brand of Warrior. And that's actually gonna, that's gonna kill that now, or or he's gonna kill. It. Either way, it's good. It's buffing. I should just put you there as well. All right. Yeah, he killed it, so he gained max twenty damage. Okay, can we kill that? I can hope we can. I can. No, I can't torch. So I have to place something there. So I guess the Husk Hermit or the Brand of Warrior. Probably the Husk Hermit. He's all die as it stands right now. We need to take four damage. So that's all fine. I could use the Wildwood Sap, and I can get back in hand later. So I'll put you here. And I'll put the Branded Warrior here. Okay, this deck is starting to come together a little bit now. I'll put that there. Okay. And again, he kills us. Now he's 76 damage. He's, this is what I needed last time. Okay. We're not taking any damage. Uh, harvest triggers when I get on this floor. Dies. Armor, okay. Guess we get a bit of a healing. Oh, actually, we can do Restoration Detonation, which won't kill that. It's probably better just to get the heal here, to be honest. We heal you. And then we'll just vent. This is the normal vent, so it's four damage. Although, that will kill this one. He gets more armor right away. Does that matter? Yes, I think it will actually matter. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Uh, there's nothing else to do. I don't want to place the train steward down. So, yeah, let's end the turn, I guess. Again, we killed something with him now, so we got more rage again. It's just, we're, this is the, we need to get this train going, literally. Literally. Uh, Alright, that's no problem. We're taking no damage again, so I do need to do a little bit of healing, I guess. I can either heal him because he's taking damage or just heal you. I think we'll heal you. Um, and then there's no point in doing that. This thing is going to currently survive. If I do a torch, it'll die, right? Haha, <laughs> perfect. Um, nothing else I want to do. I could give more rage here, but that seems pretty useless. Because they're not going to make it up, so there's no reason to increase our damage right now. So he's on 104 now, and it's just it's, it's getting better and better and better. This is what we need. This is the team for the front row, I think. Maybe not even him. It might have to actually be him. I mean, he's good at killing all the shitty dudes. Yeah, it probably we, do, we probably do need him to be honest. I don't know. Uh, restoration detonation is for the heal. Impolite would be nice if we had it last turn. We put this here. To make sure you stay alive. And we'll put that there. Extra armor. Is bueno. Alright. Here we go. Is he dead right away? No, he's taking 61 damage. That's pretty bad. He has sweep as well. Right, that's why. Well, that's fucking... <laughs> well, are we gonna die here? Oh, that's so dumb, dude. Uh, He has sweep, so he kills all my extra... St this... <laughs> fucking hell. I think we're dead. Because of this sweep. Unbelievable. There's no way we're going to be able to do enough damage. Oh, what a bunch of baloney, dude. What the fuck was that? This extra damage, I mean, I guess I'll use it now, because... Oh, I should... No, yeah, but whatever. I can't get shit anymore. Oh, it's life-stealing as well. Sweep with life-steal. Oh, my... How is that a fair boss against the fucking minion base deck? What the fuck are we supposed to do there? Well, now we're doing 247 damage somehow. I don't know how the fuck that's happening. What the fuck? Four forty-seven. Oh my god, we're actually so close. But once he gets here, he's gonna kill it in a few, like a few hits. I don't think I can do it. But that life steal. Wait, was it even life steal? Was that me healing up earlier? Did I miss? I think I misread that. Never mind. It's not life steal. Uh, it takes 40 damage. That's 45. Is there any way I can get there? I can sacrifice my imp. I think we're still not going to be able to do it. Uh, this is going to die. It's gonna. This is going to do 5 damage. 
Okay, hold on. So he does 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. This will actually make me do an extra hit, right? No, I need, I guess I need to do one, one more time. Oh, whatever. Are we gonna be able to kill him? I think we're still alive. Oh my god. Well... We're still okay for now, but boy, are we low. I've never been this low before, just randomly. Pirate Chomper, summon gain 4. Impolates. Another Impolate's not bad. Battering Ram deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to 4 times the amount of armor. No, that's terrible. Impolate's not bad. Pirate Chomper's not bad. It's, it's another Imp, which makes Impolate better, but we only have one Impolate. If we take this, we have more Impolates, which... Is also good. Gaining four embers seems okay, but I'm sure more often... Like, it's only a one-time thing. I'm just going to be in play. Channel Song is probably not that bad. Yeah, I'll take Channel Song. Man, this is not going well, though. Alright, proper boss coming up again. Unstable Vortex, Money and Steel, Random, Magic and Artifacts. I honestly probably want to upgrade my units. I still need something here. Uh, I'd like to upgrade Channel Song to... But then I have to go left and I think I want to go right just to get rid of more cards. What would I want to get rid of? I can't r remove this, right? Cannot be removed from the deck now. Uh, I want to remove some... Probably some restores and some torches, and the train steward for sure. So yeah, I think I have enough. I have enough things to remove. There's no problem. I want to upgrade these cards as well, but I think it's up. It's just it's this way, isn't it? God, a random thing could be good. Upgrading my two imp implosions or whatever the fuck they're called is not bad. An artifact could be good, but probably won't be. I do need money as well. Yeah, let's go this way. Fine, you got me. Can we get something good? Nope, I don't want endless. Um, more damage. What does the other one have? So you have multi strike. Yeah, that's pretty good. I can give you an extra five damage, but that seems pretty useless. Um, the other option is 25 HP. I can give you some extra damage, or you, but no, we already determined that this is already a, this is a card we don't even really want to use. I put it on the top before, because it doesn't really deserve to be anywhere else. Uh, I, I mean, that's not terrible. 25 <laughs> HP. I think I'll give it to this, this tank guy. Just because it's alright, even though it's not great. I'll refresh and hope for a multi-strike or something. Um... Makes it free tiles, which is too much. I can't really do that. Fucking yes. Useful train steward. Barely. Nah. I don't want that one. Four spikes. Is that good? Probably not. On a pus Kermit, it could be alright, actually. But, nah. I think we're good. I don't even want the 25 inch be on anything. I guess I could put that in here just to make sure it survives, but... Nah. The only thing it was problematic before is because they it had they had sweep, which you know what was the what were the odds of that? So I think we don't want to use any of this stuff. What a waste of a reroll. Let's get some cards out of our hands, out of our deck. So uh, we're definitely gonna remove. Um, what was it? There was one card. I, yeah, the train steward, right? It's like there was one card I'm definitely gonna remove, and then. Torch, Restore, or Vent. I feel like I use the Restores more than I use the Torches. The Torch doesn't even do anything anymore, because we, we have to sweep for killing easy stuff. So yeah, Torch is basically pointless, so remove that. Alright, Fell. Let's go. Our Pyre is awful low. Like, even a single enemy getting through is probably the end of it. So we've got to be real careful here. Uh, oh god. Oh, I have to remove this kind of shit as well. Uh, I don't have that much mana. This is the shitty one. Can I put you here and not die? Yes, it'll be on 1 HP. I need to kill that thing, but I can't kill that thing unless I play this shittier sweep one. But it doesn't have quick attack, which sucks quite badly. 
Um... But I gotta play it. And then we're gonna have to do that. Because I can't take 5 damage on my Pyre, it's too risky. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. There's my good one. God damn it. Uh, oh, fucking boy. Alright. We're gonna get the kill on him at least, that's good. Can we place this one down here anyway? I think we do. Start whacking this wing away. And let's just play... Yeah, I'll play this one as well, actually. Just don't die. Ah, that's, thanks for the advice. <laughs> I'll try not to die. Ah! Alright. Channel song. There's four. There's so many fucking imps in my deck, though. What is actually there? There's this one that would be good on. The Brown Up Warrior would be great on. Fledgling Imp. And then there's one thing that's okay. So it's a 50 50 between something being something good. There's one Brown Up Warrior here already. Okay, what else do I want to do? Uh, it's all irrelevant except for here. But we're not really taking any damage or anything. I want to play the Brown Up Warrior. And I want to play this. So if I play this and I don't get the Brown Up Warrior, which is a 25% chance, I won't be able to play this or I won't be able to play that. This would actually be really good right now. I think I'm going to hold off on the channel song. Because this actually currently kills that. Or at least that makes that die. So now that's much better. Um, I can still do the channel song. Maybe I'll get the other one. It'll be a free thing. No, but I, then I can't do this, of course. Yeah, alright. So we got to do that. Alright. Alright, he got it. So yeah, we got his damage went up quite a bit. Quite a decent bit. Uh, cheeky 45 damage. That thing's not taking much. I don't know if hitting that makes much of a difference, to be honest. Um, I could do the math to find out, but where is the fun in that? Just go. That makes that take... Oh, it's almost dead now, but not quite. I could almost torch it down. But no, that's alright. Uh, we'll put the Branded Warrior here then. And then we'll put the Awoken Hollow on the top. Can't do much else anyway. Start whacking that down. Uh... Blah, blah, blah. Uh, fuck you, your ultimate penance, you little bastard bitch boy, lady. Uh, okay, that is actually good to kill that off. It's cheap as well. Do it here to do a little bit of damage there, but they already all die anyway, so I'm not too fussed about that. Got my channel song again. Could draw something good, but I won't be able to play anything else. Is that okay? I think it is actually okay. We'll do that. Channel song, don't get an imp. We got an imp. Alright. Fair enough. Put the imp over here. So I can't actually put it here, but no, I'll put it here. And then I'll give him my uh, channel song back. Hey! That's a combo. Okay, I need to remove the two fucking heal things, and I can just combo that. Actually, I, I need... I need. Hmm. I would need to sacrifice this imp then. <laughs> I, can't, I have a free card combo that's like unlikely to ever really pull off, but it would be cool if it does. Anyway, uh, I need to play this. I can't play that, unfortunately. But we're gonna get some more buffs here. Alright. I need to get some healing on him, so I think that's what we'll do this time. I can't really do much else anyway, so I, need to, I don't even have to look here, really. Uh, and the Welder Helper? Up here. Do I want anything else there? I probably do. I don't think I care enough. Do I want to do a little bit of damage to Vents? Not really. It'll just take away from kill. Although, he will get that kill, so... Uh, it's just too damage to hit the boss. I, I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Sure. Why not? Don't get an imp. Gets imp. I mean, to be fair, the chance of getting an imp is pretty high. Channel song doesn't seem. To oh, actually, buffing imps is not that bad because it makes them actually useful. Otherwise, they're just one one. So it's not even that crazy, to be honest. But all right, they all die. This thing's still healing. I need to play this. I could play impolite, but it's pointless. So it's gonna heal you up a little bit. All right. At least this deck's easier to play than the last one. The crazy amounts of. 
shit we had going on, or how is this going? We're taking, doing 556 damage to it. Um, well, alright then. 10 damage, fuck yeah. We're gonna get there somehow. Sick imp. Um, I'll place you here. I'm gonna place you here. And I'm gonna fucking torch you for two damage, little bitch. Take that. Haha. <laughs> Alright. I don't actually know if we're gonna be okay. I hope so, but I honestly don't know if we are. We're doing 190 damage to it, so that's not really a whole lot. And get some restoration. Now we're doing 231. Alright, alright. That didn't do anything. Okay, I think we're not gonna make it. I think we're dead. The deck was finally kind of starting to get together, but... Not fast enough, I'm afraid. That fucking imp, though. <laughs> Pulling its weight there. 168. We have 12 HP. It's gonna die in one hit, so unless we get it right now, we're fucked. We're actually not that far away, but... Uh, is it better to do 50 damage? It probably isn't, is it? Oh my god, we're actually so close, but no, we're done. That's it! What a shit run. I never liked this deck to begin with. I'll try it again, though. Wow, never even leveled up or anything. Okay. Well, I'll do another another run. I'm gonna go take a quick bathroom break though. I'm back in a second. I was expecting more from the deck. I wasn't. Hey, I'm living at Monster Train over here. All right, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for the second clan being Stygian Guard. Maybe that'll go better. I have no idea. Uh, I just like these clans so much better than this Hellhorn clan. I haven't I haven't done well with the Hellhorn clan at all yet. The other three runs that I've done without the Hellhorn clan have all gone quite well. Even though I didn't win, like one of them I lost. But even so, it worked out really well. Um, like I only lost on the boss on the final boss because of like the sapping that happened. We got fledgling imp times two. Okay, again, I think that's the worst imp there is probably, but at least it's imps. So, uh, rage serum consume apply rage free. It's a zero cost, not terrible. Apply spell weakness one. Oh boy, that's. Terrible in this deck, absolutely horrendous. Probably even worse than the base units or base cards. But alright. Can I get some imp related shit? So we got Cuddle Beard. Grant plus two stacks of frostbite each time it is applied. Nope. Grant four stacks of armor each time it is applied to friendly units. Four plus four stacks of armor. So I'm assuming this is plus four armor. I don't have any cards that apply armor, but I, there are quite a few armor gaining cards, I believe. 
God, Energy Siphon is a complete fucking dead card in my hand. Unbelievable. Um, sure, I'll take a Railhammer, I guess. Slay plus 10, or Slay gain armor... N ah, armor 9, because of that plus 4. Uh, and Revenge gain Rage 1. Um, do I make him my tank? I feel like as a 12-12, he doesn't... You know, how... Because I can't buff him, you know, with, I can't give him plus 25 HP in a shop or something, so he's always... He, he'll probably get better over time, but this seems really bad. I guess... I mean, he can't even give him multi-strike or anything, so he can't get more slays. No, I feel like that's terrible. Let's go for this one again. That one's terrible as well, because I can't make it work, but anyway. The Gathered Clergy. Enemy units enter with 10 armor. Yeah, go on then. Early on, should be alright. I mean, we're going to be able to kill much, but... Oh boy. There's one Imp that deals 5 damage on arrival. That one's so good. Not here, but generally so good. Okay, so... Right now, we're absolutely fucked already. We have to just set up at the top. For now. And not even play any of these things, because I'll lose rage over time. There's, like, no reason to play this. I guess the Imp does deal 1 damage, but... Uh, look at this sick combo. Doesn't even kill it, but, you know, there you go. Sick. Oh, boy. Um, this won't even kill it either. What a disgraceful deck. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm gonna have to just play some train stewards. Not here, because it'll just die immediately. And I'll play you now, just get some extra rage. Just so you do something as well. And then just do a little bit of damage. Alright. Oh my god, it's still on fucking ultra. Okay. Okay, that guy's gonna make it through. Can we do something about that? No. Okay. Good to know. Uh, is there any point playing both of these guys here? They'll do. They won't be able to kill both of them. So I guess so, except I won't be able to kill them either, so I'll do five damage. Wow, okay, that'll be super helpful, I'm sure. Oh, what a draw. Wow, it's so fucking helpful. Oh boy. Um... Sure. Wait, this will just kill one. What a fucking disgrace this is. Alright, let's just do the tiny amounts of damage to them, just to do something. What? How did he just put this in the deck? Does he have that? Oh, for fuck's sake, of course. And of course he, I draw it immediately as well. Um, I should have put him in the front so he does, he tanks one hit for him. Because now I'm going to... The only reason I'm going to be able to do this is because he's going to get killed by the Pyre. That's it. God, this is going so horribly already. Uh, applying Rage doesn't do anything. I'm just going to have to play this and like kill one of these ones. Is there any point playing you? Is there any point not playing you? I guess there is. Let's just do it. Now we kill that thing and then nothing else. Okay, great. Alright. This is going well. There's the other way to contrition, because of course. Uh, wow, that's... Oh, watch this sick combo, guys. Oh, fucking boom. 18 damage. Take that, friends. Alright, let's go. I will take care of him. What to do? All right. Well, terrible so far. Molting him. There you go. That one's actually all right. Deals five damage to enemy units or four to five. Of course. Now that we have armor stuff, we we have a, a difficult choice to make. Apply armor twenty four. Now I'm gonna open a molting imp. I'll stick to imp stuff. Offering tokens really good in our deck. Uh, deal five damage to enemy units and apply ten frostbite. 
No. It's offering though, so th this combo is really good, but with this, but we're gonna have to actually take the offering token first or they're terrible. Uh, and a 34 Horned Warrior, or Encant plus one damage plus one health, or gain one rage. I think I'm just gonna go for the Horned Warrior. Which is not particularly great, to be honest, but I need something that deals damage. Magic and Banner, or uh, Magic and Hellhorned, or Steel and Stygian. Of course I want those two, but, you know, we can't, can't get what we want, can we? That'd be ridiculous. Um... I don't have that many units I want to upgrade yet anyway, I suppose, so fuck it, let's go magic. What spells do I want to upgrade, if anything? I want Offering Token to have, uh, well not one of these things, but that, where it stays, where it pops up in your hand every, every, every time you use it. Um... Or like, goes to the top of your deck, I mean. I want to get rid of Frozen Lances, I want to get rid of the Torches, I want to get rid of Train Stewards. There's so many cards I need to remove, I need to get rid of the Energy Siphons. We only have like five cards in this deck that are actually okay, the rest is all just absolutely terrible. Um, so let's see, what can I do right now that I... Yeah, I don't want to upgrade any of those. Remove Consume. I could do that on this, but... That's not that good. Ten Magic Power. No, I don't want to upgrade any of this stuff. Um, I think I'll just purge some cards. Well, I'll purge a, a card, because I have no money. Don't want that stupid Demon Fiend. I, I really wish this would stop showing up, because I can't afford it. Rage on friendly units add, adds an extra... Adds an additional plus two damage per stack. Uh, if we can get a Rage, this would have been good last run, of course. But we don't... You know, we didn't get it last run, did we? Um, sure. Go crazy ragey. Let's purge a singular card. What is the absolute worst? Honestly, it's probably the energy siphon. Well, no, I guess they combo with this, the this sweet combo, the frozen lands, making it 12 damage instead. Wow. Um, train stewards are terrible, of course, but they're not as bad as early on. <sighs> Fucking. Man. What a disgraceful deck. I just don't seem to be get, uh, like I don't seem to be capable of getting lucky with Hellhorn early on. I don't know. Really hope this is a turn for a good luck with this deck. Well, so far it's worse than the last time, so. Start a battle with each enemy, or enemies appear uh, on each floor. The clergyman, with rage 2. I have no sweep or anything, so I have nothing I can do about that. It'll just destroy my... Like, am I willing to let my pirate take a bunch of damage for 75 coins? I don't think I am. Unless I draw the... What's the chance? The Molting Imp. That's the only Imp that's... Or the only thing that would actually be clearing out a wave. Fucking let's go. We gotta take some chances here. I gotta do something. Of course we didn't draw it though. You know, that would've been too useful. Uh, if I pl put you down, that's okay. What do you do? Add a Sinner's Burden card to the top of your... Sinner's Burden... Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I have nothing to kill that either, of course. I didn't draw any of, my, any of the cards I wanted to draw, basically. I'll actually put you as, as a tank. Okay, putting this guy down is pointless, it'll just die, it doesn't do anything in return. Uh, I can kill one of these guys off actually, makes sense. If that slay plus 10 damage actually stacked over time it would be pretty good. But it doesn't, oh there you go. Once purged this card is removed from your deck, so... What does it do right now? It's just there... As a, it just, it just, it's in my deck forever unless I use it. Okay, well, that's fine. We could probably use it. Uh, I want to make sure I kill that thing, so I have to put something down. I can't put anything else on this floor. Well, except for an imp, but that's okay. 
Uh, that thing's gonna make it through on that side. Okay, so what I can do is... Um, I'm gonna take a bunch of damage from this stuff. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, hold on. So... I want to kill that, because that's way too much money not to do. So we do that, and then we'll get another one of these sinners burden things, but oh well. Um, yeah, I'll put you here just for later on. Alright. They're not going to do that much damage, only one each. If I get one pyre heal, we'll be alright again. Oh, two dead weights in my hand right now. Lovely. Oh yeah, that thing is dead, no problem. I have no kind of healing. Let's, I guess, buff up our boys. Get rid of this thing. Uh, the rest is completely useless. Well, I guess I can save myself one damage by doing that. Alright. Can we do something about this? We can take... Oh, well, we're... Yeah, we'll be fine, this one. Okay. Uh, this will be one off from lethal. And now it's dead. Um, Alright. I don't know why I even bothered. We already had it. Good shit. Alright. Impolates. 45 damage already. Welder helper. Apply 19 armor. Seems okay. This honestly, that 4 armor, I don't know if that's ever really going to be good. It'd be good if it's stacked with Encant. Like, instead of plus 1 armor, it would be plus 4. Maybe it does actually work with that. In that case, it would be insane. Uh, I'm going to go for Impolate, I think. Well, I hope we're... I, I don't know. Titan's Gratitude. Deal 25 damage. Discard a card. Titan's Tooth. You'll find... That's the one we saw earlier. No, these are all pretty shit. I don't want any of those. Let's get out of here. Made it through again, but once again, I'm not particularly happy about this. <sighs> the steel's on the wrong side again. I want the fucking duplicate, but I, I don't even have anything good to duplicate right now. I want to upgrade something before I duplicate it. Honestly, I don't even want to... This is ridiculous. Can't we just get steel on the right side for once, please? Here we got... Uh, no steel whatsoever. We got pyre, health, unstable vortex, and merchant of magic, and here we got... Money, artifact, and a stitching unit. Uh, here we have steel and unstable vortex, but once again, not the health end. Oh my god! What the fuck is going on? Please. <laughs> this is terrible for us. Can't believe this shit. Alright, I'm have to skip the duplicate, which is. and the hellhorn unit, in favor of upgrading some unit. Oh my god, please, what is happening? This is terrible. Oh, I should have upgraded first. I may have gotten the duplicate. If I get the duplicate thing now, I'm just fucking rage quitting. Okay, it's not. Bone Shaker makes it way through an abandoned train yard. The once bustling workshop is now eerily silent and empty, picked over by scavengers. Empty, picked over by scavengers. Though in the rubble, you're able to make out a couple of things that may be useful. A large hook and some quick-release doors. Do you salvage anything with the train yard? The sending unit to the bottom floor apply dazed. Or ascend an enemy unit to the pyre room, apply dazed free. Uh, I don't know. I guess this could be a way to. It doesn't say bosses are immune. Immune. Although I guess you can't because the bosses destroy the lower room, so. Can I duplicate the imp that does 5 damage? I mean, I guess, but it's, it's not good enough. Um. Yeah, I'll take that. It's, it's, that's something, I guess. Honestly, it just dilutes the deck with another card that is almost never useful, but... Oh well. Can I get some some good upgrades, please? I keep getting the rage shit when I'm playing as this faction. Is that like is there like a difference or something between what you get when you're... Depending on the faction you're playing or something. I have no idea, but I'm very fucking annoyed that I keep getting these terrible cards. I want like... Multi-strike and shit like that. Um, like, it just confuses me. I have minion I'm supposed to be a minion-based deck, but I'm not getting anything that upgrades minions in a good way. Minions just suck compared to spell. Spell decks are so much better in this game. 
I'm, I've said it. I know apparently imp decks are overpowered, but I can't get any good imp decks, and I, every time I play with a spell deck, it's so much better. Or that heal deck I had, that was so good as well. Hello, Enrique. Enricoot, even. Um, it's better than nothing. Well, no, because in this case, I'd rather have the, the shop than, than the duplicate. Uh, although the shop is fucking terrible. Um... <laughs> I don't fucking know. This is so bad. I just can't. I can't get over how bad this is. Guess I'll do that. I don't want to do this on anything, do I? All right, show me something better, please. In camp, gain armor one. I guess that's good on a tank. Do I? I don't even have any. I haven't got any tanks yet. Oh wow, it does actually work like that, so in camp gain armor 5. Okay, does this guy become my tank then? I don't have that many kells I, kells, spells I cast though, so I don't know how useful that really is. I don't. This guy isn't really a natural tank. I, don't, I do like that that stacks with this though, that actually makes that somewhat good. 25 health, I mean honestly on this that's not that bad, so it doesn't die to random sweep, but I don't... I don't know... I don't fucking know. Just do it. Just fucking do it. I don't know anymore. Let's purge one of these terrible cards from my deck. Another train steward. I only, honestly, I don't even have a minions. I have, I have like two minions that aren't imps or train stewards. Alright, I don't even know if we're gonna make this, to be honest. I. I don't even want to at this point. I just want to give up. I want to play a different faction because I I can't get over Hellhorn just being so trash. I don't know what it is. I'm just not good with Hellhorn. Right, play you and you die. I could play you and torch one and then you get five armor. Yeah, all right. No, there's no point trap shooting that. Uh, train stewards, I don't want you anywhere. Actually, I'll just die to those guys next turn. Actually, no, you won't, but I still don't want you. You suck. Probably just get blown up by a bomb if we put him up here. Alright, oh, put a bomb there again. Alright, fair enough. Um... This is, this is really good for that kind of combo. Are you the person who suggested that? I've already done that in the past, actually. Uh, okay, we are... No, we can blow that one off, so that's okay, actually. Fuck for that. He's still taking some damage, but not enough to really be worried about it. He's gonna do four, that's fine. I'll take that four. Unless I don't have to. I can play the Molting Imp to kill that off, but I feel like that's a bit pointless. I can just play the Frozen Lance instead. Or play it here, is that any... Is there any point in doing that? 23 plus 12, no, that doesn't equal 40, so... I guess it doesn't matter. I should have once again put him there. I don't know why I keep putting him at the back. I keep forgetting about that. It means I get to do a lot less damage when the boss actually gets around. Uh, I hate this deck so much. I honestly, I honestly do. I really don't like this type of deck. I don't like this Hellhorn. I can't I can't get anything good with Hellhorn. What is this game in a nutshell? It's like Slay the Spire. Uh that's pretty good. This is actually okay, but kill a couple of those, no problem. Alright. I kinda need to kill this thing as well though, otherwise, you know, just have stuff die for no reason. So I can kill one of these ones. But it does save some damage. All 
Alright. Um, frozen Lance twice doesn't really do anything, does it? Although, I guess... Oh, wow, look at this sick combo. Oh, and the encamp actually giving me armor is pretty solid. Not gonna lie. Alright. And then we'll do that for an extra bit of armor as well. Can we do this just to get him more armor? Yeah, I guess we can. Alright. Actually, not bad. Alright. Can we kill him? Uh, no, but we're only just shy, so he should be able to. There we go, that'll do. That'll do, laddie. That'll do. Alright. Good shit. Uh, yeah, don't need to do anything else. Alright. A rare. A bunch of shitty rares. Nice. Uh, double armor needed. Oh, that can actually. Well, no, it, it costs free. Why is it so fucking expensive? That's not even that good. I mean, this could be good with that card, like that guy that gets five armor now per turn because of the real hammer. But it's just not. It's not good enough, is it? These are all trash. Get out of here. That's a rare card again. I keep having to f give up the rare cards of this faction. That this card is pretty good. Gain seven armor on camp. That's a good tank. I, I need more DPS and stuff, but no, I'll take this guy as a tank. And then I think we need the Light of Seraph again to get an extra plus one pip thing. Uh, yeah, I think so. Why Mafia 2 is only two hours long? Read the top comments on that video. Or watch it on your phone. It, it should work there. Um, it's because YouTube is still processing the video, but because it's such a long video, it probably will never get properly processed. Like, YouTube is fucking terrible, basically. Um, and thus, it will never finish processing and it'll always be too- no, it'll be two hours long for a couple more days and then it'll eventually be fully processed in 360p, so that'll be the maximum quality you can watch it at. It is currently watchable for me on my phone for 10 hours, or like the entire thing anyway, and for a lot of people as well, but on some phones for some reason that doesn't happen, so I don't know. It's just weird. It's YouTube being dumb. Uh, which videos, Enrique, or Riku? You mean like the battle replays? I, well, I don't know if I actually, I think I, I had the idea of doing them, and then I never actually really did, because I just didn't, I didn't like it. Anyway, money, artifact, and a unit, staging unit, or spell stuff, which really doesn't do much for me. Because I have no good spells. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything that's good. Uh, health, which I don't need, and Unstable Vortex. I do desperately need Unstable Vortex, but I think this might be better in this case. Yeah. Let's see. Gain one Rage Encant, or... Spell Weakness is terrible for us. Uh, gain one Rage is... Well, Rage actually kind of works for us, because we have that guy that makes you keep more Rage, but... I don't know. Like, we have uh, the Deranged Brutes, which adds an extra 2 damage per stack. Or, uh, yeah, 2 damage per Rage stack. But that means I have to put them on the same floor, so it would be him, him, and then this one on the same floor. Uh, and he's my tank, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's not terrible. He would be the tank on the second floor with the Horned Warrior, I suppose. Alternatively, I could put the Horned Warrior on the bottom floor now, but... Um... Yeah, I mean, whatever. It'll probably end up being shit anyway. Units cost minus two. Or when you play your third card on a turn, draw two. Uh, how often do I play free cards? I mean, it's it, that seems really easy to acquire. Having units be cheaper is pretty shit, because you only play so many units per game. I guess I'll go for this. I don't know if it's ever going to be relevant, but fuck it. Uh, and now we can go for the Slay plus 20, or I can go for gain 9 armor, whatever he slays as well. I think we're going to stick to just doing as much damage as possible. Alright. Let's see. Enemy units enter a spell shield too. Holy fuck. I don't really have any spells, so that doesn't seem that bad, except... If they have, like, I don't know. Nah, that should be okay. The only thing that's going to be pro annoying, actually, is that 
that unit that appears that gives you 75 gold if you kill it. We're gonna have to actually use a minion to kill it, but I guess that's okay. We, sh we should be able to do that as well. Hopefully. I don't think the money right now. Alright. Uh, zero damage, six damage. Okay, we take seven damage. We're gonna use the Horned Warrior as a tank, although I don't really want to use the Horned Warrior as a tank because the Horned Warrior is not supposed to be on the bottom. So, I don't know if that's that useful. I don't really want to set up on the second floor either, but I can't place him because he'll just die immediately. Uh, this doesn't do anything. So I either play nothing or I play both of them here, but I don't want him here is the problem. I don't even... Actually, I killed that first guy, I suppose. <sighs> Alright, fine. I don't want to increase the rage. I don't think that's worth it right now. Oh, okay. Right, I forgot they do that. There's that money that we're, I was talking about. And now I, of course, didn't draw anything that can kill it, so that, that's that's nice. Here's my tank that's supposed to be down here. I guess I can still put him here anyway, although the, the, he combos this the night, Nameless Siren quite well. Um, if I put the train steward here, we actually kill that thing as well. That's actually worth doing, I guess. Train steward to the rescue. Oh shit, we have this stuff now. Uh, drawing an extra card, is that useful right now? Do I have any? I have encant stuff on him, so we do it here, and then we actually get some armor out of it. And Rage. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Um, do that, and then just put an Energy Siphon somewhere just to get extra encants as well. Yeah, okay. So we have our tankiest guys on the top. This is not really a good situation here, but... Oh well. Because we got our money. Um, how much healing do I have? This is just all... No, I have no healing here. Wait, did I draw all my healing already? Do I have no healing in this deck anymore? I guess I have no healing in this deck. Of course I don't. Right. So I just have no way of getting that guy back up. I need encant stuff, so yeah. That, I just draw drew poorly in the beginning, I guess. So be it. Um, I can't do anything because of the spell shield, so it's pointless. I can kill this thing off with the molding imp. And I guess you can sit here so you can tank one hit. That seems useful, I suppose. Um, this is all fine, so let's just do some stuff here to get you encanted up. Ooh, Rage, hold on. Yes, that will actually help. And then we do this here. Get more encants, yeah. This, this combo on the bottom, together with him, would actually be pretty good. Now this guy's gonna die soon, and that's the problem. I can't do anything about that. So eventually we're just gonna have to, you know, rely on the top floor, I think, with this fucking train steward as well. Nice. Um, Impolate does nothing, I'm guessing, because it's uh, armor. I can trap shoot something, but that's pointless. I could trap shoot some one of my own guys down, interestingly enough, but they apply too dazed. It's not super helpful, is it? Uh, let's just apply some rage. I don't know if it matters. And does this do anything? No, it gives her a spell shield. Okay, well, in that case, oh shit, I can't do this here. Well, damn. Uh, fucking whatever. Draw more cards. I should have drawn the card up there for the encamp. I'm just fucking, just whatever. Train steward only run. <laughs> Thank fuck for this row here being quite good, although we're not doing anything here, holy shit. Uh, Alright, now we can just get some more encamp stuff. Wait, I actually should... Well, 
I want to play this guy? No, I don't think I do. They're actually going to make it to the top. I don't know how the fuck this happened. I have no damage here, apparently. Alright, what are we going to do here? 238 damage. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Can I do this just to daze you? Oh, yes I can. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Holy fuck. Uh, get rid of that. Ooh, can I actually... Hold on. If I can get rid of the spell shields, this will actually do some damage. There we go. Doesn't quite kill him, but he won't be able to make it all the way, so we're good. That's That daze on the boss is actually insane. Alright, we got him, ladies and gentlemen. Well, can I kill him with spells? Oh, I'm gonna be too damage short from the spells. Oh, oh no! Yes! Haha! <laughs> Spell kill with the fucking hell horned. Wow. This is chest of cards. Kind of. Impish Scholar, return of Brandom's consumed spell to your hand. What do I have in terms of consumed that I actually would want to return? I have the rage card. Uh, oh, the trap shoots. Uh, does it return it to hand? Hmm. Could be good. But there's also the Consume Rage Serum. I don't want the Battering Ram. Although, no. This is too expensive. Free mana. This is ridiculous. I'll take an Imp Scholar. It's an extra Imp, so my Imp damage spell gets better, I suppose. I don't want a Rage Serum. This could actually. It's a 50 50 returning the right card, basically. For well, a card that does something. Uh. Honestly, Frenzied Swarm isn't even that bad. But, no. Uh, take that 10 bucks. Alright, what do we got? So we got Steel, Vortex, and Money. Or we got that, that, and that. Do we have anything I want to... Uh, com like, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind a second one of these. Duplicating this guy is not too bad. Because then I can have one on the bottom floor and the middle floor. And then it's not as big a deal anymore. And I can encant on both those floors and get good. Or, wow, I could even put two of them on the bottom floor. Making both my tanks. Oh, I don't need two tanks now. Now, I want this one. Um, I want that one, the, the lady. Nameless Siren. And my boss guy on the, on the same floor, I think. The boss guy doesn't even really work in that, in that same setting. Like, they, he doesn't get anything from encanting. This guy does, but it's not good enough. Do I want another one of these, though? I don't think it's actually that useful to have two of those. I mean, it's alright, but... I could put another Nameless Siren and have a Nameless Siren and this guy. Like, two Nameless Sirens and that guy on the same floor. But I need to upgrade the Nameless Siren first. But again, we didn't get the fucking Merchant of Steel on the same floor as the Hellvent, so... I think... Oh, my God. I think we're just gonna upgrade first and then hope for another Hellvent later on. Uh, none here... Here's one. No way, that's not a stable vortex, sorry. None here. There's one. And a merchant of steel at the same time, alright. So this is where we finally go for that. But just before the fucking final boss. We're probably dead before then, let's be honest, but... Alright, so for now, I think we take steel. Vortex is really good as well. I don't even need the money. I don't need to duplicate anything yet. Concealed caverns could be okay, but no, this is more important. Turn on money, health. Uh, let's remove some shit from our deck. The energy siphons, as shit as they are, they might not be the worst de uh, thing we have. Train stewards are probably worse. Although, we only have, again, we don't have enough minions to actually put down. We have uh, two pips, three, f well, the, I don't even really count the imps, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, we have, yeah, I guess that's, a, we have a, exactly twelve. No, we have way more than that. Yeah, we... We can't actually put enough units down right now. Did I count that correctly though? 3, 4, 8, 10, 12. Yeah, I guess I did. Wow. The train stewards actually are still relevant. <laughs> Which is just disgusting. Let's upgrade first. Let's see what we got. 10 damage. Uh, actually, is there anything useful? Not really. Um... I want to upgrade the this siren lady. Maybe give her some extra health so she survives. Oh, 
god, it's fucking just trash though. She's not even that good, probably. Never to find that final boss. Which one is that again? Devour my spells. Uh, I don't really give a shit about that. Um, I don't know if I want more damage on her. We have a lot of money, actually. That's quite good. We could purge a bunch of cards as well. I want to reroll and get something different, but... I don't fucking know. This guy is actually quite good, because 7 armor every time you use a spell. It seems pretty good, but it's just... Is he... You know, he's not better than him. And we don't really need two of the same thing. So he's basically pointless. I need more damage cards. I just haven't got damage. This is my only damage card, really. Except, you know, the Horned Warrior. But... I don't know. I want to reroll. I want to get something better. I want to get multi-strike or... Some other encant thing that helps her out or something like that. Or him. I don't know if there's an encant against X Rage. That could be good. Or even the 7 Rage right now, I'd probably take on Nameless Siren, even though it's pretty shit. Uh, just because, you know, if I combo her with him, it's actually pretty good. I think the health is not even necessary, to be honest. We just add damage on her. 20, like, 15 is already okay to deal with some sweep. I'm just gonna add 10 damage to her. Just to make her an actual damage character, and then let's reroll. Um, didn't get the right shit again. I don't know what's what's going on with my card draws. It's just not going well, is it? It's just ridiculous that we're on floor five and we still only have like three actual minions that we picked up, besides the imps, which are trash. Like this guy, that guy, that guy, and that guy. That's it. Four, and I don't even really count this one because it's trash, and it's the wrong faction. <laughs> I'll put that on you, I guess. Do I? I don't even know. I'll put you to put it on you instead. Just because why not? Uh, does this make someone useful? Makes you a big old tank. Or are you 69 health, which is kind of perfect, let's be honest. Um, I don't think I have the space for like a free. Everything is based on two right now. Do I just add 10 damage to you? How is a 40 29 good? I don't even fucking know. Um, it's good against bosses, I guess. It's okay against bosses. It's not great. But sure, I'll upgrade you just to have it so we're not entirely useless. Alright, let's see. What else was there? Was there two purge cards? Yeah, let's purge some fucking cards. Uh, I want to get rid of... So much stuff I want to get rid of. Let's get rid of the frozen lances. And some more frozen lands. I mean, frozen lands probably worth worse than the than the torch because the torch at least I can aim. But the torch doesn't do enough damage anymore. So fucking remove one of those. Another one, please. I should get rid of an energy siphon now because the less spells I have, the less useful that'll be. One more, two hundred bucks. Uh... Go on then. Let's get rid of the last energy siphon as well. All right, terrible. Actually, the energy siphon works kind of okay with the imp uh, explosion thing, impolate. But too late now. Let's go. Sorry, girlfriend's texting me. Let me see if I pick her up from work. Enemy units appear on each floor. Uh, it's the it's the same dudes again. I think we can tank it. It's 150 coins. We need money, so yeah, sure, I'll take it. We can't. We won't be able to deal with them, but it's fine. All right, show me what you got. Oh, they're on. Okay. Sometimes it's like only the top two, and then the next one's actually just normal enemies, but not this time. So unless I can kill all of them. I don't want to try and deal with them. It's just six damage. Yeah, it's not actually that big a deal to be honest. Uh, I could do this and then cast some spells to make you tanky, but... I've, I, w I don't want him on the bottom floor, because I want someone else on the bottom floor. I do want you on the bottom floor, but again, if I put him down, he just dies instantly, so... And if I do this, I have to actually kill several, like, I have to kill all of them, or they just buff each other, and then this becomes stronger, so... Am I just going to not play anything again? 
I think I will. What a great start once more. Killing this is completely useless because they'll just buff the other ones to be stronger. Like I get rid of two damage, but I gain, I, I add six, so it's just not good enough. I could put you on the bottom instead of that rage guy, but then. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck, you know. Like, all of the stuff I want to play is in here. Well, all of the... Uh, there's only... Fuck me, I hate... I, I hate this faction so much. It's so bad, in my opinion. I don't know how... I, I don't know why, it just seems so shit to me. I don't understand. I don't even want this guy. Uh, put him here. I'll take eight. It's just gonna fucking die, isn't he? I just don't understand. Can't even get rid of this fucking thing. I just buffed all the other ones as well by doing that. They're just gonna do more damage to the fucking pyre. Oh my god, there's just more and more of these fucking psychophants. I can't. Okay, fine, we got a combo here. Jesus Christ, it's about time. Um. Alright. Uh. I kinda wanna torch this guy, but I wanna do stuff here so I get, you know, shit in return. I can't even kill this guy, by the way, just uh He's just gonna die next turn for nothing. Unless I get my other tanky guy again. Like if I draw my other incant tank guy. Well why would I, right? Yeah, why would I why would I draw that? Oh I can actually Oh he doesn't die right now. Wait, how how not? How does he not die? How's it? Oh, right, because, okay, so I, okay, I don't want to play Molting Imp, because it'll just kill, then I will die if I play Molting Imp. Okay. I can play Molting Imp here first, but then, well, I remove 12 damage, but she gains 6. And that's 6 damage every turn that she lives, so she takes 30 damage, so that's 3 attacks, 4 attacks. Which means it's 24 damage. So I'm removing 12, but I'm adding 12. Or I'm adding 24, which adds 12 total. So I don't actually want to play that there. Don't want to play it here. Play you here at least. Oh, well, actually, do I want to play you elsewhere? So I can kill some shit. Probably not. Let's play you here. But luckily, we can just tank it for a while. We're not. We're we're gonna be okay, I think. It's gonna be a rough turn, though. Um, again, killing these guys just makes them stronger, but I do want to do something here. Just in cans. I'll remove that right away. Yeah, I mean, this, this still makes me stronger overall as well, so while I do take a little bit more damage, I think, yeah, quite a bit more damage. That stays the same now, though, yeah, alright. Um... And I guess we'll give Rage Serum you. Not that I really need the damage, but it's another encounter I get to do, I guess, so it's something. Uh, if I do this, I'll kill one of these ones, but I don't, again, I don't really know if I want to kill them, to be honest. I'm gonna do. This reminds you of your first Shogun 2 multiplayer match. In what way? <laughs> Oh fuck, he still got buffed. Oh my god, that's 18 health. Oh no. Am I fucking dead? Take 6 damage? No, we're still okay for now. Jesus Christ. Uh, Alright, here's my other tank. I have no, I have one spell I can play here, but that's okay. Almost dead again. Fucking great.
Just fucking get them some race, why not? Might, might become relevant later on. I could trap shoot one of them, but that seems pointless. I'd rather keep that for the boss, although I can't keep it, of course. But yeah, this is alright. We're down to uh, 12 damage, 12 health. <sighs> not even fucking close right now. He has fucking multi-strike, so yeah, we don't want that thing to die, because it'll add a load more damage for him. Four. We have a decent bit of damage up there, so we might be alright. Currently only doing 45 damage to him. Alright, that's the kind of fucking damage I want to see. I can daze him. That's 142. That's a lot better already. Let's get rid of our shitty stewards. Do that. Hundred and ninety four. Alright, I think we're done. I think I'm I'm probably never playing this faction again. I fucking hate this faction with a faction. I don't understand. I just don't I can't get along with this faction apparently. I don't know what the fuck it is, but Oh my god, we're actually so close as well. Um can we actually do this? I mean, 26 damage off. It's gonna do 20 that It'll kill me in a single hit, so... There's no point having this. Well, there's even less point having that, so... But yeah, I can't actually do it. I hate this faction so much, man. It's so bad. I can't... Why can't I get a good deck with this faction? I don't understand what the fuck it is. I can't get a good deck with Hellhorn at all. I, is it just me, or is this faction just really bad? That card's really good. Actually, is it? Yeah, it's alright. I saw this one before doing really well anyway. That would have been a nice card in our deck as well. I guess I just haven't... Maybe I haven't unlocked the right cards yet. Send all enemy units to this... On this floor... Wait. Send all on this floor and apply day three. Oh, you, okay. You push them into the pyre. And then they can't attack for three turns. That's pretty cool. But I spell weakness two to enemy units when they enter the floor below the pyre room. Doesn't look like anything to me. I want to know what the cards are that I haven't unlocked yet with Hellhorn. Because I, I, I don't know if there's a way to find out. This this is the fucking card I haven't unlocked. How have I never drawn this? Wait, is it an epic? Because it's like, is it? It's purple. Does that actually make a difference? Oh, I guess so. That's why. The thing is, though, I've drawn this one like a billion times, and this one's also epic. Oh, fuck me! I've drawn that one several times as well, and I've drawn this one just now. Okay, I must have just been getting someone unlucky at least, because this one is the same fucking rarity, and I haven't seen it a single time yet. When I saw the other person that I watched play this, he drew this one like three times. I'm... Fuck me. I can't believe that. I keep... Like, people telling me Imp are fucking overpowered, so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll fucking go Imp several times in a row. Never draw the guy that makes Imp so, go, so good. Unbelievable. Uh, anyway. I'm gonna have to end the stream here. I want to play more, but I have to pick up my girlfriend from work. Next time, I am not fucking playing Hellhorned again, I'll tell ya. I don't know who I'm playing yet, but uh, probably Stygian Guard Awoken. I kind of I want to play Awoken again, like as a main faction, because that was pretty fun. That that main character for Awoken is really cool when you get the uh, Rejuvenate. 
deal X damage, like 15, 30, 60 to the front enemy unit, and you just fucking heal that shit out of him, and he just blows everything up. Really fun. Compared to this piece of fucking trash. <sighs> slay X damage, but you never fucking slay anything, because you're shit. Can't believe this. Um, and then, yeah. That's, that's all the complaining I'm going to do for now. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let's fucking get out of here. Next time, no more Hellhorn. Until then, I'll be I'll probably be back again tomorrow. It's a shame that no one fucking watches this. I have like 25 to 30 viewers, well, even less sometimes, when playing this. I don't understand. People just don't... It's just sad sometimes. I mean, you get 70,000 subscribers and, and people just don't even, like, have a look. Maybe they would enjoy this, but they're like, Oh, it's not Shogun 2, it's not Free Kingdom, I'm not interested. But anyway, life of a YouTuber, I suppose. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see you all again soon. Have a good day and goodbye.